Shut up and take my money. Nice ass, baby.
Hello! Welcome back. Welcome back to the Stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League. We are back. It is week two. <laughs> As it should be. Yeah, don't worry about that. You've just fallen through a little bit of a time warp, but it's okay. I've got you now. Hello there and welcome. What's up, Axion? What's up, Yoga? How you doing, dude? Thank you for the 100 biddos, dude. That's going to keep the Pokemans rolling through here for a minute. Although nobody needs a fucking Mankey. Because we all already have one. Um, we are back. The SGFL is back. My delightful character select is not back. Oh, that's because we were playing Tony Hawk the other day. That's right. I haven't touched this since we were playing Tony Hawk the other day. Um, we're going to continue SGFL. It's week two. We have some games lined up for this evening. They're going to be good. Probably. They usually are, aren't they? Why don't we uh, jump right in? I don't want to waste any time. I'm itching. Itching. Itching for what? Crack. No, SGFL, which is like crack. It's just as addictive. Uh, but the, 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 the supply is significantly... I forget what... I, I'm trying to make a joke here. It's falling apart. Let's look at what games we have this evening. Anyway, let's go! Leading the way, we've got the Ghosts returning champs at Undead. Uh, they're probably just re-dead, it's looking like. Uh, we'll see if they can't do a little better this week. Uh, Guardians at Renegons, Jets at Stars. That should be that should be interesting. Jets at Stars, that should be interesting. Defenders, Goldens, Patriots, Umbrella. That one should be interesting. That one should be interesting. And we have Starman at Crew in prime time again, actually. Um, oh, the Goldens, uh, the Goldens stayed golden. Goldens are looking like they're going to be really good again this season. Crew, I am sad to say, look like they have taken a bit of a step back. Um, we'll see how it plays out. It's a long season. A lot, of, a lot of road ahead of them. They got the Starmen this week, so it's not looking like a great start is in front of them. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. They got home home field again. It was, uh, let me check. I got I to gotta have my sheet ready. And let's, let's remember, of course, we have to remember to make save states. Or I'll just die. Dude, it's hot. I'm just going to throw it out there now. But it, it is, man. Um, it was 31-14. So I think crew have taken a bit of a step back this season. I don't have a whole lot of, like, high hopes for them. They could, uh, they could you know, there's often surprises in the SGFL. So the crew could be one of them. But it really did seem like their window was open last year and they slammed it shut on themselves. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Rivalry week next week. What do we got? Ghost Dragons. Guardian Souls. Renegons Devils. It's true. Billy's Billy's Undead. Yeah. Crew Jets. Yeah. Yeah. Starman Stars. Oh, yeah. Well, we got just a divisional week next week. It'll be interesting. Um, tomorrow night as well, we have uh, Souls, Devils. I was going through the game order. I forgot. Tomorrow night, we've got Souls at Devils and then Dragons at Billy's. Um, oh, my God. It's so hot. It's so warm, yo. Oh, my God. It sounds like I'm underwater, but it's not. It doesn't feel that way. Um... Ah, I need revenge for what the Jets did last season. Ooh, okay. Yoga out here holding grudges. See, I already forgot. But not Yoga. Yoga remembers. The Jets, they must pay. The Jets started out, uh, what, 0-1 against Umbrella, although it was close one. That was an odd game. That was an odd game. I can't really believe that they blew that, but whatever. Um, going to be interesting to see them take on the other Raccoon City team uh, halfway through tonight. Uh, all the games this week should be interesting. Should be good to see how the, the season continues to take shape. Of course, we're still very early on. And as I said, surprises usually occur. Will the crew be a surprise team? Because projections, it looks like they're, you know, going to finish last in their division. That's the guess. Uh, it could go anyway. 
We'll see. Let's roll into the first game of the evening. Oh, I should start up the prediction. It's been a little bit. I need to I need to remember what I'm doing, where I'm at. Okay, ghosts at undead. You know Stafor's pick is uh, the ghosts for sure. For sure, Ski. You gotta give me the ghosts. They're the returning champs. Uh, they edged out a very close win against the Souls, 31-30 uh, uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> but, uh, 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 I, undead or doo-doo. Should be fine. Should be easy. Uh, oh, where's my controller? Aha! All right. Oh. <sighs> Dude, it's warm. A little bit. A little bit warm. All right. First game of the evening, Ghosts at Undead. Oh, wait. Let me uh pause that. And let's jump in. Second week! Remember to get save states. Remember to get save states. Okay. Undead gonna win the toss. We are here in Firelink Shrine. And the Undead will return Bruce Willis to kick off for the ghosts. If you don't know why, don't worry about it. It's not important. Loader gonna return. This game is underway. Loader. Gets it up to the 17. A little slow on the diagonals there, the loader. You know, it's, uh, need to whip out the, uh, the grapple hook. That'll, oh, David Kong with the sack on the opening play. And Vampire Survivor is going to be throwing from their own end zone. Oh, throwing it up for Bungus. First down and more. They've got him dragged down inside the Ghost 40. That's a huge play off of a second and long. Throwing from his own end zone with a guy on the way. Vampire Survivor finds a way to make the play. Although it was a wide open throw to uh, Donut Bungus. So. Yes, yeah, because Bruce Willis was in Die Hard. Exactly, exactly. You get it. Very good. Well, don't explain the joke, Axiom. That ruins it. Missed out on an Xbox 360 mint inbox for 60 bucks? Damn. Came with Forza and I'm sure an expired Skyrim download code. Uh, or just an, a copy of Skyrim still in the disc slot that someone forgot about. Because, you know, that's just that's just where they are sometimes. Found one out of box for 45, so I guess it's a win. I mean, that's still, at least you got a better price. But that uh, mint inbox for 60 bucks, that's... That's pretty that's pretty cool. That would have been really nice. That would have felt like like opening a brand new Xbox 360 again, which <laughs> uh, folks ain't been doing that regularly since shit. Like, well, I mean, I guess like 2011 or 2012 would have been the last like holiday cycle with old consoles or that generation of consoles. Wow, Freddy Krueger wide open on the first play for the Ghost. Touchdown. And they'll take the lead. What? I'm thinking about the Xbox 360. The ghosts are thinking about taking the lead. 7-3. Reigning champs on top. Can we get can we get the pet the ghosts in the chat? Yo! What up, Blue? How you doing? Welcome back to the stoop. Welcome back to the Stoop Gang Football League. You're in the right spot if you are looking for little digital football dudes doing their thing up and down the field you know how they do welcome back blue good to see you bub welcome 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 back we have uh, our opening game of the evening here blue we've got ghosts leading here in the first quarter 7-3 against the undead reigning champs the ghosts of course as you know going up against the blunder bowl losers losers and uh who we if they, they don't look like they've improved a ton? Uh, here goes Oswald. Left side cuts it back inside. Gets a decent gain. Uh, second and five coming up. 
43 seconds to go in our opening quarter. 7-3 ball game. Oh, off the play action. The defender wasn't fooled. He did get the pass off into double coverage. That's no good. Those defenders were not fooled either. Doing some laundry. How am I? I am good. Thank you for asking. I have been looking forward to getting back to SGFL and tomorrow SGBA, but that is a tale for tomorrow. We'll just leave that in the future for now. But, yeah, I, uh, I'm very excited to be back in the uh, the commentary booth up here uh, in the uh, in the in the in the SGFL stadiums around the uh, 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 the universe, shall I say? Certainly the galaxy, at least. Perhaps multiple dimensions. Um, Beetlejuice off the reverse. Game of seven. And <laughs> we're in the second quarter now, folks. If you didn't know it, you'd do now. Beetlejuice reverse again. It worked okay the first time. They go back to it. He cuts left. Gets around the mound. And down to the 50-yard line. First down. H.L. Horseman hands off to Poop. The Ghastly, who was meant to be uh, a haunter at least. But yeah, I've been uh, I've been looking forward to getting back to SGFL. Oh, Freddy Krueger makes a really nice catch in traffic and then just throws the defender to the side and scores another touchdown. That's two for him today. Look out. Freddy K is coming to town. Linking the first flame all over the place. I think games I'm most curious about tonight that I pointed out are uh, Jet Stars and then uh, Patriots Umbrella. With a little bit of a tag on Starman Crew. I don't know. I just I want the crew to do something crazy. They won't. I don't. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. I uh, the crew are gonna be bad this season. Undead are gonna be a little bad this season. Uh, the Jets are gonna be good again this season. It's looking like I know they are they're 0 and 1, but that that whatever. Don't worry about that. Um, of course these are all just my predictions. Uh, the Souls, I think they're gonna surprise uh, the Void Division. Oh man, either Devils or Billies are gonna win Chaos. I think Patriots will win Heroic. Hmm. Hmm. It's gonna be an interesting year. It's gonna be an interesting year. <laughs> yeah, no fumbles yet. Ooh, thank you for reminding me, actually. I'll, uh... Hopefully the markers are working today. We shall see. Poop, gonna take it left side. Fake reverse, cuts it in. Touchdown, Ghosts. They score again. My soda is empty. And I am sad. Yeah, very surprising. We've made it an entire quarter and there's been, or an entire half almost, there's been nary a fumble. Of course, we've jinxed it now, certainly. I have for sure now that I've said it out loud. But we'll see. <laughs> His shoes fell off. That means he's dead. That means he's dead. Sodi 3 can't connect. We've had a grape Sodi, Sodi the second, and Sodi the third now in the league. Lots of, uh, lots of, uh, you know, endearing families. Wow, Oswald, what a run. Oh, 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 clock it. They're going to clock it and let Earl Jivlitz come out to uh, attempt a field goal just before half to make it 21-6. I... Oh, oh, automatic Earl puts it right down the middle. <laughs> And he is two for two today. He did have one miss last week, but we won't hold it against him. Automatic Earl. He, you know, he's one, he's a class act, one of the best in the biz uh, today. And uh, just a joy to have in the league. Shucks, it's halftime. I'm going to run to the concession stand. I'll be right back.
Oh, jeez. Did I miss anything? They were out of corn dogs. Can you believe it? Gee whiz. I got a soda, though. That's what I was really after, so. Oh, poop. What a juke. You want to talk about cleats falling off. There they go. 40. They're after him at the 30. Down at the 20. Did he stretch it to the 20? Stretch it to the 20. Come on. Oh, I think, I, uh, yeah, I'll call it that. The 20 and a half. 20 and a quarter. Beetlejuice off the reverse. Falling down, falling down, falling down, falling down. And they bring him down. First and goal at the eight. Seven? What so did I get? It is a Dr. Pepper Zero with zero sugar. There's Freddie K with number three today. I think he just tied a I think he just tied the record for uh receiving TDs in a single game. <laughs> I think he did. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up the book real quick. Oh, There it is. Receiving. Fumble! Oh! An error occurred. Awesome. If I do slash marker F, an error occurred. Okay. Oh! Damn! 28 months! Axion, thank you for the 28 months, dude. Thank you for the more Pokemon. Hell yeah. 28 months in a goddamn row. That is a long ass time. Thank you very much, Axion. I really appreciate it, dude. I know, the GOAT, literally. 28 months. That is insane. Probably the longest streak on Twitch, honestly. Um. <laughs> Vampire Survivor gonna take it himself! He says, I'm sick of settling for field goal. They're tackling him all over it. The play's already gone. He's in oh, They say, welcome to the league, rookie. Um, Freddy Krueger did tie the record. It is a one, two, three, four, five-way tie for most TDs in a single game. Uh, that record being three, so if he gets one more, he'll break it, which would be great, because it's a, a five-way tie. Uh, plenty of time to break it. So let's see, let's see. Oh, that's poop. Taking off, 30. To the 40. Uh, 49 down, okay. Yeah, once again, markers are broken, so that's awesome. Um, how many... What is 28 months? That is... Okay, two years and four months. Okay. Right, so at 30, it'll be a new, a new hat badge. Freddy K, next play! Oh, this could be it. They've got a whole quarter... Oh, juice. Nope. Poop. Oh. That just gives him more room to pop it into Freddy K. Oh, Freddy K. Freddy K. Freddy K. Freddy K. New record. Four touchdowns caught by a single player, and he's the first one to do it. Uh, that's four receiving touchdowns in a single game, I should say. I know, right? I love that. He's now the undisputed single game receiving uh, touchdown scorer. Uh, a previously five-way tie between a bunch of really great receivers. He is now all alone. And a lot more difficult to catch. 35 13, fourth quarter. Uh, Undead used to have some, some comeback magic on their side. I don't know if. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I do. I'm pretty certain. Those days are past. Interception. Oh, wow. What a catch. I thought that was intercepted for sure.
Oh, sorry, Blue. I missed the, um... Have you tried it? I, uh, I drink Dr. Pepper Zero all the time. They were just zero sodas all the time. It's good. I, I like it. I think if you're, like, maybe really, really used to the, the regular one, then maybe you wouldn't, but... I don't know. I, I think it tastes better than, like, Diet Dr. Pepper. And stuff like that. So, yeah. And I don't know that it's, like, that much healthier. It's just, I don't know. It's just what, what we get. <laughs> Freddy K? Oh, oh, get up. Get up. Five! Five of them! Five of them! Five of them! <laughs> Mama! That's that's how you you don't just break it you bury it. Oh my god, you almost wanted to get one more. I mean, just make it ridiculous. Freddy K, Freddy K. <laughs> I, I you think the ghosts are gonna be good again this season? I know that now they're beating up on the undead. I do want to point that out. This is I mean, if there's a if there's a team in the league to play a tune-up game against, it's the undead. But, I mean, you don't want to not show up for those games, <laughs> you know? So they're doing exactly what they're supposed to, and they're beating them down. So, returning champs, looking looking very good. Where's that, where's that fucking emote? Where's that, where's that sons of bitchin' emote? Where is it? Only one team can get the pets, and that's the champ. Oswald. Ooh, slicing through. There's a big play from Oswald. Something they can build upon next week. <laughs> um, how did the uh, prediction shape out? Ah, I see. <laughs> it was 10,000 on the ghosts and nothing else. That's probably fair. Solaire! Hey, that'll make it a little more respectable, but... A garbage time TD, indeed. Makes it slightly less of a blowout. Slightly less. Oh! Automatic Earl is blocked! That'll make it 42-19. It is a 23-point deficit. And that is going to be a fun score again. All right. I don't know how many times we've had 19 up on the board at the end of the game. Whoa! What a catch by Beetlejuice! Oh! oh! What's going on, man? Okay, and it's a touchback. It's ruled a touchback. And let me guess, I can't, I can't slash, slash marker. Yeah, it's, it's broken. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a, that was a good game. Um, not competitively speaking, but uh. Freddy Krueger caught six passes and scored five touchdowns. The holy Moses, the 232 receiving yards is not a record. But, uh... Oh, thank you. That There's a way to do it. Ah, but it's that, yeah. Anyway, don't worry about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, like an external stopwatch. I talked about it last time. I just, it, shit's been busy. I forgot about it. But, um, six catches, five touchdowns, smash that record. That, I mean, woo wee, woo wee. Previously held by Merrick. Uh, of the Defenders, Biff Chunklets of the Defenders, Mr. Saturn of the Starmen, Slippery Sob of the Dragons, and Dulfi Flation of the Renegons, who all had three touchdowns in a single game at one point or another, um, including as recently as week eight of last season. Fuck all of them. Freddy Kruger of the Ghosts and his five TDs.
set in uh, season five, week two. What is today? Four, eleven, twenty-three. Boom! Congratulations, Freddie K. Undisputed record holder. That's wow. That's pretty cool. Five TDs. I mean, that's. That's 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 now tied with the the record for rushing touchdowns and up until last season was close to the record for uh, passing touchdowns. Of course, that's now seven. That's pretty nuts. But fucking spatchcock. Um, total touchdowns. Well, that's also seven. That's spatchcock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Anyway. Yo, what up, Dennis? Welcome back. Welcome back to the stoop. And the Stoop Gang Football League. You're just in time. We just had a record-setting performance by Freddy Krueger. He caught five touchdown passes. Uh, as the ghosts went on to dominate, as you can see. How you doing, dude? Welcome back. Good to see you. Um, let me get my save state before I forget. Uh, SGFLA Week 2. Yo, Xenia? <laughs> Dennis Kerr auto-corrected to Xenia? Um, is David Kong a prominent player this season? He had a he had a sack uh, this game. He had a sack this game. Is that is that one of yours, Axion? Let us. I got my save state. Oh, let me put in the, the score on him. Um, 42 to 19. Boop. Okay. All right. Let's, let's move on to our next one. Guardians at Renegons. Let me... Dude. Speaking of Spatchcock, we'll see him shortly. Let me see. Renegons lost last week. Yes, against the Billies. Guardians won? Yes, 12 nothing. They had our, our third ever shutout. Awesome. Um, just got home, got to do stuff. Right on, right on. Just saying what up, what up. What up, Dennis? Thank you for popping in. Do your thing, dude. I, I, uh, I understand. Do your damn thing. Live your damn life. You, uh, beautiful son of a bitch. And stuff. But yeah, thank you for, uh, thank you for checking in, dude. Always good to see you. <sighs> place your bets, place your bets, put your stoop bucks on the line and see if you can't win yourself a good time. Let's begin. Explore Quarrel is back. I thought, see, I couldn't remember. I th thought there was a, a big injury associated with this game, but ah, Explore Quarrel makes their way back after only missing a week, and the Guardians held out to win 12 nothing in week one, so it, uh, did not hurt them too badly. Now he's back. And they're looking good in there. They're black and oranges. Oh, or is that like a... It's like a red. They're black and red. They look good. And they're alts, I guess I'll just say. And then we've got Renegons in the all-whites. Collector with a nice return off of a not-great Hamtalan kickoff, and we are underway. And <laughs> Dennis probably just going to lay in his bed. Hey, that's something, that's something important to do. When you just get home, you got to go lay in the bed. It's what it's there for, is it not? What, are you going to not lay in your bed? Get out of here. Benezia getting to the quarterback after a really good start. They are backed up out of the 10-yard line. They're now back at the 18 for a second and goal. Rolling out off of play action. Quarrel! Got it. Touchdown, Guardians. They're on the board very quickly. Quarrel! 
making his way back to the field in a very big way. One catch, a one touchdown. There we go. That piece of food that was stuck in my teeth has finally come out. All right, Melindy to return. We'll see what Spatchcock and company have. They didn't fall terribly short of the Billies, although the score was a bit closer than the game was. Uh, 21-17, although it was 21-10 late. They had a chance of getting a, a late onside that could have maybe maybe led to possibly winning the game. It, it, was, it just wasn't that close. Here goes Spatchcock, though. Whoa. Huge scramble, and that'll get him a first down into enemy territory. Nicely done, nicely done. For to stand on your bed, shoes on or shoes off? Asking for uh, for Dennis. Oh, Nail Master Oro, you gotta watch out for him, man. He's uh, he's tough. Spatchcock on third and long. Gonna cut through. Oh, there's nowhere to go. Fourth and 13. See, and that's, you know, that's just, I don't think that's a great decision by Spatchcock. He's still a young guy. He's still a young guy, but oh my God, Han Tallinn misses it wide right. He hooked it too far to the right from the left hash. Oh my God. He just, he just gets worse. Did Hom Tallinn hit a big field goal last week that had me... Who hit a big field goal last week that had me going, mmm? Somebody hit a decent field goal last week that doesn't normally, that had me going, mmm, or, or two weeks ago, whatever. And I already forget. Just socks on. There goes Cesar Salud of the Eye, one of uh, Yoga's boys. I believe he was their first or second round pick. I think first round pick. Uh, forget which overall. Like seventh or something? A, a rather high pick. Cesar Salute. Hungry night. Third down. Everybody's open. Throw into Cesar. He'll run it in. Touchdown, Guardians. They extend their lead to two scores. How do you like that? How do you like that? See, 5K on the Guardians. Do we have anyone willing to accept the challenge? Anybody believing in a currently down 14 to nothing? Renegon's team, they could come back. They could come back. They could. We've seen it before. We've seen it before. Eight seconds to go in the half. Spatchcock going to toss to Hamilton. Borger taking off and running out of time and out of room to run. No, that's the end of the first quarter. My mistake. <laughs> Thought the game was moving a little quick. Uh, going back to him. Well, all the better. They fall down 14-0 in the first quarter. That's the best time to fall down 14-0. You've got all that time to come back. All right, they go back to that play a third time in a row, and rightfully so, it loses them two yards that time. Some diminishing returns after uh, going back to the well over and over with that one. Incomplete pass and another third down coming up for the Renegons. Oh, everybody and their mama. Everybody and their mama sling it. Pepsi Cola. Oh! Verthrown! Spatchcock, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Oh, that's a doo-doo punt. That's a doo-doo punt by Navigator Presley. I mean, it's it's Tech Mobile, so it's still going to fly 50 yards, but, like, comparatively. I mean, it's, you know, well, and then he gets a good return on... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You'd rather just kick the touchback. You'd rather just kick the touchback. Nail Sage Sly. Trying to slide through. Can't find much. Hornet. Oh, sibling hornet. Whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, uh, damn, all the way down to the one yard line. Up the gut, Cesar salute. Punching it in for the Guardians. Man, I, th 
Dude, the Ghosts and Guardians are gonna just race for, uh, for first place again. I think, uh, Scheduler did a fantastic job saving the, uh, the Ghosts and Guardians opening matchup for, uh, a little later in the season while still keeping it as the, uh, season, uh, as the season closer in week 10. Um, because you know it's going to be good. That is that is one of the new budding premier rivalries in the SGFL, Ghosts and Guardians. Oh, the GG! Meanwhile, Renegons trailing by 21, just under two to go. Yo, Ricky! What up, dude? How you doing, man? Welcome back. Good to see you. Welcome back to the Stoop and to the Stoop Gang Football League. So happy to have you joining us. Welcome to uh, the S, uh, the the Normandy SR2. It's got a football field on it. I don't know if you knew that, but it does. Uh, where the Renegons are currently trailing 21-0 against the Hallow Nest Guardians, who are off to a pretty good start. There's Absolute Radiance getting the sack. How are you doing, Ricky? Good to see you, man. It's been a little bit. I haven't been on that much, so that's probably why. Or that's been at least a contributor. But uh, nevertheless... How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope life's treating you good and all that good stuff. There's Garrus getting them on the board. Oh. Is it a drop in the bucket or is it the beginning of a tidal wave? You know, if they don't do something with the their special teams, they're 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 gonna remain in the hole. There's a nice Arya T Lok sack off the blitz. There you go. Get them back into their side of the field. Any way you can, any way you can. Hungry night, hungry night. Looking for Cesar Salute. Got the first down and more. Still going. Oh, they bring them down, and that'll take us to halftime. 21-7. And I have no idea who gets the ball first after the half. I don't remember. Uh... Who <laughs> Renegon starting deep in their own territory to Start out the second half. Spatchcock with really good protection. He finds Vakarian deep down the right side. He's across midfield already. Whoa! A mob group tackles him at the 34. Wow, that's an excellent opening play. He's open again. Going for Tassoni, who came out of retirement just for this! And depending on this Ham Tolland extra point... Mm, we may have a one-score ball game here in the second half. Hold up. Oh, he's got it. One-score game. Hold up. Renegons trying to make them sweat just a little bit. Pull their collar. Everything's good. Got accepted into a master's program in astronomy. Hell yeah. In Sweden. Probably have to defer that a year, though. I mean, still, though, that's pretty cool. Get to go to Sweden and look at the sky. That's pretty tight. That's 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 astronomy, right? You, you stars. But like for realsies, <laughs> stars, but like for realsies. That sounds awesome, Ricky. Hell yeah, dude. Whether you defer a year or not, I mean. Shit, if you can defer a year and still have that opportunity waiting for you, I'd say that's just as that's just as badass as having the opportunity to begin with. Hell yeah, man. Third and 20 inside their own 20. Guardians facing a bit of a situation here. They go to Cesar, salute the rookie on a toss. It pays off. Still going across midfield. Wow, what a run. By the rookie out of the eye. That is Cesar, salute. 
huge. I mean, they go to him on third and 20 with a run. They go to him again. Again, right here. That's a first down run inside the 20. That, Cesar Salud trying to put himself on the map. Knight looking for Hornet. Oh! It's a gap this big. The ball shouldn't even fit. But it does. It's amazing. Yo, what up, Spuds? <laughs> How's Shucky doing? We're, we're, sure. we're, we're waiting to check in on Shucky, I think. I forget. Who does Shucky play for again? <laughs> What's up, Spuds? Welcome back to Stoop and the Stoop Gang Football League. You're just in time for what might be a close matchup. We're going to see how this one ends up turning out. We're in the third quarter here now, 28-14. Guardians up on the Renegons. How are you doing, dude? Good to see you. Going pretty good, going pretty good. Oh, that's a nice catch by Vicari and Garrus getting it done. I've been looking forward to uh, getting back to SGFL, so this has been exciting so far. We have had... This is only game two of the night, so... Oh, intercepted! Intercepted to close out the quarter. That's not gonna do the Renegons any favors. Yo, thank you guys for the points to the seven day survivor challenge. Hell yeah. There goes Sly. Um, just don't have the money right now. I feel that, Ricky. 100%. Any astronomy to start? Yeah, I, I figured. I, I, when I said the real one, I meant like, you know, astronomy versus like astrology, you know? Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> but, um, yeah. No, that's awesome, though. Just save up some money for a year and then do it then. That'll be good. That'll be bad ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go, Ricky. I was just making a joke. Um, let me see. I'm not bad. Passed my third test. Got one more left. Let's go, Spuds. One more. How do we feel about how the first three went? Oh, Guardian stuff short. They'll give it to Gorb or put it on Gorb's foot. Gorb, the great mind. Oh, it's no good. Oh, my God. That leaves the door open. Oof. For a Renegon's comeback. We'll see. Got eight months to get it, so I have some time. Oh, so you... You have, like, eight months to take that last test? You don't... You're not, like, on a specific timeline to take it? <sighs> to Sony! Touchdown! The bomb! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And that's right down the middle by Ham Tolland, and it's a one score ball game in the fourth quarter. What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? They're okay. Okay. Two and a half minutes. They're going to put it on their defense. From the 45, the Guardians start up. Okay. We'll see. I see. Okay. You get 18 months to pass all four. Okay. I wonder how many people put off doing all four until, like, the last month. Right, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Tom Tallon making a must-make field goal. What has this league become? He missed an actual field goal earlier. Ooh. It's, it's... Not very many fumbles today, though. I will say that. I mean, I, dude, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that right now. If they want to practice some ball security, that'd be perfectly fine. <laughs> Hornet. Oh, they got to put it on Gorb again. This this will this will put the game away. Go up by ten with under a minute to go. Gorb. It's good. 31, 21. I think the Guardians are going to hold on to it. I think the Guardians are going to hold on to it. Barring something just absolutely insane. 
totally just just out of pocket, off the wall, insane. Uh oh. Oh, I, I got ready to do the safety dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Do we get another play? They will clock it. We will get one more play, but there's not enough time for them to make it up, so. Thank you! 31 21. Guardians get it done. Renegons fall to 0 and 2. Guardians remain undefeated alongside their division rivals, the Ghosts. 31-21. So far, it's been uh, all road teams. Wow, these quarterbacks, though. Look at those passing yards. 318 to 255. Garris had five for 168. Mm. They were just slinging it, man. Just slinging it. You, you love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, let's settle up the prediction. Get my... Here, let me get my save state first. Uh, SGFLB dash week two. Right? Okay. And I'll settle up the prediction. Ah, I see we had a little bit of a believer on the Renegon side. Sorry to say. Did not pan out. But maybe next time. Let's see what's next. I think coming up is... Ooh, Jet Stars. Yes. Okay, good. This is one of the one of the games I was looking forward to. Don't forget, folks, if you're a Devils fan, a Souls fan, a Dragons fan, or a Billies fan, tomorrow night after SGBA, we have SGFL Wednesday Night Games, where... All four of those teams will be facing off, not in, like, some kind of free-for-all, but they'll be paired off and playing games of their own. Um, tomorrow night, after SGBA, uh, da -da 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 at Stu... Jets at Stars. Jets lost last week on opening day to the Umbrella. They look to... Get back on track against the other Raccoon City team, the Stars. Stars started out 1-0. They've done that before, though, and uh, crashed and burned. So we'll see. Stars are the only team of the original eight SGFL teams to not uh, to uh, have never made the playoffs. So, and I think them, the Souls and the Dragons... Are the only ones total that have never, and the Souls and Dragons are part of the the brand new Void Division. So, how would free for football work? What do you mean? Oh, Needle Threader, that's a good one. I just noticed that. Oh. Oh, free for all football. Oh, uh, hmm. Well, you'd still be on teams, but, hmm. Maybe, maybe it would be like an X-shaped, like, diagonal field, and you have to, like... Hmm, maybe you have to score it in your own goal? Hmm. Or maybe uh maybe the goal is to avoid having having your goal goal scored on because if you are scored on then you're eliminated and then it's down it's you know last, last team standing. That's a fun idea for a game. Ooh. All right. All right. Patent pending, folks. Patent pending. Stoop ball. Anyway, all right, moving on. Um, let's jump in to game number three. Jets at Stars. Ethan Winters is back. 
See, having that extra week off really helped with some of the injuries from week one, so... Can you say it was a bad thing? I mean, if, if the players are healthier for it, I mean, you're, you're... I don't know. Stars win the toss! They'll elect to return. The hometown crowd says, hey, sure. Seems good. And Mike Hernandez kicks off. Oof, barely, if you can get kind of pooched it. Redfield. Run, run. You're kind of invisible there in the middle, but... Oh, no! Claire! Oh, being helped off the field once again. Claire Redfield after opening up with an incredible... Opening return off of a not great kickoff. I, I, I jinxed it. I jinxed That was my fault. That was my fault. Ah, uh, darn. <laughs> uh, Mungus sliding through the tackles. Bob and I'm weaving. Mungus. Surveying, under pressure, gonna lob it, line it, miss it, and that'll bring... Ah, yeah, Vince Pregida, rookie kicker on the field, makes it. It's good. Luckily, Brad Vickers is still on the team punting the ball for them, so he can kind of protege the young Vince Pregida. Uh, Brad Vickers being one of the better... I think uh, kickers all time kind of fell off towards the end, of course, but uh, one of the better kickers all time from uh, the SGFL. He is listed as the the star's greatest player. That's I don't know if that's good for him or bad for them, but it is true on their uh, profile card. Um, we'll see how the Jets respond. Four yard carry to open things up. Second and six, and oh, that's a flea flicker. Horny like an all Super Nintendo. Ooh. Got it into Star's territory. Looked like Hyrule was on the field somewhere. Richardson up the middle. A quick run. Quick gain. Quickly brought down. Bodie to Richardson. Cuts it left. Go left some more. Down to the 21. I see we've got 5K on the stars. Woo! Super Nintendo with a touchdown. We'll see. Oh, did we do the... I didn't do, do Chris's pick. Chris's pick is the Jets. <laughs> Thank you for the points to the challenge, Dennis. How's that? How's that going? Folks have been putting... Points in. Nice. Nice. Almost over 100k. Goddamn. Fungus Mungus. Oh my god. Of the Mungus family. It is expanding. Ooh, that's a nice that's a nice catch by Swiss Tickler the second. BRB right on blue. Do your thing, dude. We'll be here. First and goal, Winters left side. Oh, brought down at the one, maybe the two, one and a half. What do they call it? One and a half. Second and goal, one and a half. Winters left side again has it. And the Stars take the lead back. Ethan Winters back from injury looking to uh, lead his team to a win. Billy's, Billy's play tomorrow. Billies are our final game of the week. Let me see. What is their... They they play Dragons final game of the week tomorrow. E. I am very curious to see. I think I think Dragons and Billies is another game this week that's going to be a good one. That'll be a that's a good one to finish on tomorrow. Uh after after basketball um but yeah they are they won last week uh looked pretty good or two weeks ago rather looked pretty good um I think uh edge Billies but dragons are you know oh man the Jets are lucky to not take a safety and they are allowed to punt from the back of their own end zone allowed to 
Stars defense just posting up on that one. And cheese. That's a pepperoni. And cheese. With a nice punt return there. Oh, no! Why? Every time I give him a compliment. Oh, my God. What? What? What have I wrought? And, and Sweeney. Ums and Sweeney. Gonna kick and punt return now as, as the Stars are getting beaten up out there. Though they do lead narrowly 10-7. to 7. Got a lot of stoop bucks to throw down on the billies. Oh boy, I'm ready. That should be a good game. Like I said, should be. There's another touchdown for the Stars. They'll pull ahead. Roman! It does look as if the Stars have aligned. This is interesting. This is interesting. Is this the Stars season? Is this... Is, is it their time? Who'd they beat last week? The Patriots. Ooh. Is it their time? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see how the Jets respond. Lichen. 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 Or not. Okay. 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 Holy shit. Ooh. Jets not able to move anywhere. Oh, my. They fizzle out badly. They do get to punt from pretty good position here. Uh, we'll see. This could be good. This could be good. Where's this going to fall in? Oh, that's great. That's us oh, y'all. Lena. Oh, Lena with the coffin corner, baby. <laughs> oh, the perfect punt placement. And then Eggs Benedict just like, like whatever. Hey, get out of my face. Get out of my face with it. Ethan Winters going left again. Get some good blocking on the front. Breaks the tackle down the left sideline. He goes 40. Still going 30. Stole! Oh, dragged down by a shoelace at the 21. He could have been gone. Baby gone. Hollandaise <laughs> sauce all over the field. It is everywhere. That is probably why. They are slipping and sliding. Although they are clutching the ball like, you know, like you would not believe. Because they just are not fumbling today. I, dude, I wish Chev, Chev would, like, I, I wish Chev could see this. I don't think they'd believe it. Noggle need to return 20 to 7. And that'll take us to the half. Star score 10 in each quarter so far. And the Jets have their work cut out for them. Do the New York J-E-T-E -E Jets have some heroics up their sleeve? Or are they going to fall to 0-2? They do get the ball first to start the second half. And that is a big ingredient in the recipe. Noggle Knee will get them up to the 38, and we are underway in the second half. We'll see what Tram Bodie has lined up. Looking for Tonzales. Oh, he can't connect. He can't connect. Can't quite connect. Ah. Lichen on the reverse. Looking for some room. The Stars are playing this one well, uh, as well as they could. He's still got nine yards. As far as their position, I mean, they were ready for it. He was just, he's elusive. Oh, 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 horny. No, Nintendo. Lichen's wide open on the left. I don't know what's going on with the, they haven't really been targeting Lichen. It's been, it's been a big detriment uh, to their overall offensive success. And yet they, they continue to just not uh, throw it his way. I'm not sure if they're uh, just not on the same page lately or what the deal is, but Jets need to get something going. Perhaps they can turn to their defense for a big play in their time of need. So far, so good on first and second down. Third and eight coming up. Can they get the stop? The world stops and watches. 
Mungus steps up, tries to fire it into a covered eggs Benedict, and that will hold them to a punt. Let's see Brad. Brad Vickers. He's done it all for the Stars over the seasons. He used to be a running back, uh, backup running back. He filled in every now and then, too. He, he did back in the day, back in the day. Played kicker, obviously, for a long time. Now relegated just to punting once again. Um, and uh, that'll be the last thing he does before he finally says goodbye for good. But uh, Brad Vickers, just uh, the consummate star uh, in Raccoon City. Bodie. Oh, my God, Todd Howard. Oh, my God. Yes, unironically, he also is a streamer. Yuck, yuck. He, it, it, he is. That is true. <laughs> Jets uh, held to a... <laughs> that's all I have to say about it. Jets held to a three and out. And they're going to have to punt it away. Every time I go to Brad Vickers' stream, he says my fucking name wrong. All right, there, I said it. It gets on my goddamn nerves. He can't say my fucking name right for one goddamn thing. Touchdown, Jets! Yeah, what do you think of that, Brad? Every goddamn time I go to his stream. That's why I don't fucking go there anymore. He says my goddamn name wrong every time. He can't be bothered. He's kind of a jerk. <laughs> I said it. Fuck him. Fuck him, I said it. I don't give a damn. He's not even the real original Brad Vickers. There was a different guy in RE1. He says it different every time. Fuck him. He's a dick. <laughs> I said it. Tell him I said it. He'll be like, who? <laughs> but Brad Vickers, the, uh, the, the running back and game character, he's great. Or not running back anymore, but kicker, punter, previously running back in video game care. Oh my god! Another fumble by the stars and the Jets have it! Oh my god! Back-to-back -back fumbles by the stars have set the Jets up with a chance to take the lead! He says, like... Yeah, like, stip four. He said store before. Like, like... Like, people get it wrong sometimes, understandably. It's not necessarily all, like, I, I don't know. It's, it's not the hardest thing ever to get, but it's like, like, dude, like. Oh, my God. Fumble by the Jets. They have it. And the first down. Oh, wow. The Jets. Oh, whatever. I'm not even trying, but, like, just, yeah. He, 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 he's, he, whatever. Fuck him. <laughs> That's it, bottom line. It is not that hard. And I have tried to like address it in a like non-confrontational way, I, whatever. People have trouble saying your name? Why? That seems odd. I don't know. People people be weird. But yeah. I get it, like, generally, but, like, I've tried to, like, tell him what it is, and he just, like, doesn't fucking, like, pay attention or care. <laughs> Obviously, his stream is, is, is a tick busier than mine, you know. But but whatever, I don't care. I've 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 been in there a bunch of times. Parlov, Parlov, Pavlov. Oh, that's just because they misread it. Swiss tickler. Oh. Can the Jets find a way? They had their opportunity. It slipped through their fingers. Long Zeldison with the sack. Woo, that'll do it. That'll do it for the stars.
Um, but no, it's like generally speaking on on when it comes to my name, it's a total toss up. It's pronounced Stafor or Stafur. It's just, it's Christopher. Stafur. Christopher. Stafur. Christopher. Stafur. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. You may have a baby brain. That's not my fault. It's not that hard. Yes, Christ for. It's, uh, it's sure. Stuffer. I'll even take Stuffer. Fucking Porto w was like uh, Australian, and he called me Stiffer. That was fine. He knew what it was, at least. His, his accent made it stiffer. Stiffer! Which is great. But, like, it's not fucking store? Spo he, he, uh, he once called me ST poor, and I'm like, I is he fucking trolling me? Fuck this guy! <laughs> Fuck him. Talking about Brad again. Sorry. Last thing. St. Poor. Come on. Come on, man. Are you like? What are you doing there, man? You have you've got fifty thousand people, and and you don't you can't and, and what, like and they, they, looking at you and you can't fucking figure out how to say usernames on the internet. You fucking goof ass old man. Go voice a video game. Oh wait. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Jets really dropped the ball. Indeed. Uh, they, oof, man. They had high hopes coming into the season, obviously being runners-up in last season's Super Bowl. I had high hopes for them. They're 0-2 to start the season, and that is not where they wanted to be. Stars on the opposite end. 2-0 and for the first time since, I think, season 3 or 4? They blew that and didn't make the playoffs. It was sad, but uh, this is their best start since then, and, well... <laughs> Might as well just keep on trucking forward, because uh, so far so good, right? Let me plug in these scores where they need to go and settle up predictions as they need to be settled, and we will keep on rolling on this gravy train. I am your stoop dad, and my name is Saint Four. Bring you the smooth sounds of daybreak. Uh. 2714. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme a save state. SGFL C week two. Dr. Pepper Zero really loosened me up, dude. I just I'm done I'm done I'm done being all like ooh in in, in, in on on the fucking inner you wanna you, you, I'll, I'll just tell I'm just telling you what I think about this or that. Within reason. Okay. I'm not gonna dance around the, uh, you know. Not gonna, not gonna, just brush off the, you know. So I brought up, brought up the, 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 dude being a streamer. Like I know, I know he is. I know he is. I know something else. He can't say names good. And you know what? Me neither. Sometimes, but I fucking try. Goofy beret wearing bitch. It's a good stream. It's a good stream. Check him out. Here, we'll give him a shout out. <laughs> His username's a lie though. He's not the real OG Brad Vickers. There was actually he's he's the he's the he's the voice actor from the original Resident Evil 3. But there was a different guy that voiced the very, 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 very minute, even more minute than Brad in RE3 minute role of Brad on the radio in RE1, which was a different guy. So he is lying also. Just saying. Just saying. But yeah, he is not the one that said, Jill, you're an Amazon. Well, actually, I mean, isn't that... Is that from the original or the... It is from that is from the original. 
He he's been called out on it before. He's he he. I don't I don't I think I think I think if you bring it up now, you'll probably just get timed out. <laughs> but follow him, check him out. He's you know maybe maybe your experience may differ. Your your name may be easier to pronounce. He's not like a horrible dude. He's just got on my nerves, being a dumbass old man. Anyway. Um, people mispronouncing my name, especially after I correct them, is a pet peeve of my- Yes, right? Right? Like, it's not- uh, Normally, like, like I said, like, I get it, and I give people- But, like, most people are, like, in, in- In the ballpark, or, like, try, or, like, Will, like, recognize me, and then- And then try, you know, the next time- But, like, I've been in there so many times, and- And just- in 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 other shit, and just- Say my goddamn, I bet, I bet you know, I, I, <sighs> that is all. That is all. That's all I'm gonna say. But I, <laughs> for now. But anyway, yes, your experience may stifle. That's a, that's a, that's a good one, Dennis. <laughs> that's a good one. If I ever streamed, I would get would progressively pronounce your username more wrong. <laughs> that's see, that's if that's a bit though. That's like one thing, or like we're already buddies, Ricky. That wouldn't bother me. Brad, I I wanted to be friends with Brad. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Of course I did. Of course I did. He made it hard. <laughs> Nigh impossible. It wasn't me. It was him. I tried, man. <laughs> Evidently not hard enough. I don't know. A react Andy would be good right now. Make me react Andy to his stream. <laughs> At Taco Bell, when I use the kiosk to order, I have to put my name as Dennis instead of instead of Dennis because they'll call out Denise. Doesn't even make sense. Well, you know, at least in France, they'll say it a different kind of wrong. Ask him what he thinks of RE0. I can't even... Dude, he's like... I, he voiced one of the characters in the games. It doesn't make him some kind of resident expert on... Ah, I get it. <laughs> resident expert. Anyway. He doesn't... I don't know. I don't think he's played all of them. I think he might have played that one. I know he streams and tries to get around to them, because obviously it's a good bit to get, like, a VA's opinion on, like, other games in that series, but... I don't know. I'm not sure if he's played Zero or not. But I know some stuff he's, like, just fairly recently played for the first time. Anyway, I we're moving on! Go give him a follow and look at him. <laughs> and, and judge for yourself. Uh, let's... The, the stars the stars won. Tell him that. Tell him Stapor sent you. <laughs> I love when people say leet yoga pants. Makes me laugh. Wait, what? People say leet yoga pants. Oh, just seeing the I as an L, I guess. That's funny. Okay. I, I, it's been long enough that I forgot if I got my state. So, yes, I did. Okay. We are three games in. Let me do my prediction, because y'all are probably waiting for your points. Ooh. Well, <laughs> a, a little bit. All right. And moving on. All right, three more games to go. We're halfway through the night. And yes, once uh, uh, I'm, <laughs> it's time, I'm spicy tonight. I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just out here ready to get real with y'all, okay? For for half of a goddamn second, on what I think about another streamer that doesn't know that I exist. And if he did, he'd say my goddamn name right. Okay, I keep saying we're gonna move on, and then I don't. So let's 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 move on for real. Okay, my bad. My bad, but yes, we're 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 spicy tonight. Okay, coming up, defenders at Goldens. Goldens, of course, are the Goldens. Defenders. Let me let me check. I think they lost. No, they lost. Yeah, because they played the Starmen in one of the least bloodthirsty, perhaps, battles between Starmen and, and defenders. But uh, thirty-one twenty-four. Though, uh, Starman were definitely in control, I'd say. Um, 
We now look to see if the defenders can get on track here on the road in Gecko, taking on the Goldens. Ooh, sore loser. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> that one, um, what was it? Threat Needle Threader? Something like that earlier? Yeah, I... That's another one that, like, you hope that they turn out a quarterback. And honestly, with as lucky as, as some of these guys have been, he probably will be. I mean, passing yards was a quarterback, and so was touchdown, so why not? Yeah, we're here all night now. Yeah, right? All I, all I had to do was, was talk shit. And I've uh, guaranteed at least a, a few more minutes of y'all's attention. Um, prediction running, we good? Let's do it. They can be 15. Um, they can be either, um, any combination, uh, of, like, amount up to 50, as far as, uh, like, number of first or last name. It can be, like, one in the first and then 14 in the last or vice versa or any combination there, but it's 15 max. Um, and that does, that includes... Extra spaces, but not the space, uh, like, between the first and last name. That's just, like, a, a, a guaranteed thing. But, so, 15 total. The, the character limit is character limits. We, we, we checked. We, we had a player named character limits. I think he went to the I. A lot of guys did. Or do. Or will. <laughs> Let's jump in to game number four of the evening. All of the above, yeah. Seven U to kick off for the defenders. Goldens, Falco Marconi. To return, it is a short one. Oh my gosh, he just walked right past those guys. Breaking tackles, they slip him up. They'll start in defender's territory. We'll see how this one goes. Dog meat. That's the that's the universal he didn't catch it sound. <laughs> if you I try to impart as much knowledge and wisdom uh of, of the, the game of football as I can to, uh, to to casual fans that I know tune into the SGFL only. Um, so you can kind of get to know the, the, the history of the, the the game that you don't really care about unless in the context of monsters playing it in a, in a, in a video game sense. But I'm going to teach you about it anyway. So, for example, <laughs> is the universal sound of he didn't catch it. And now you know. Dog meat, gonna take it off the reverse, cut it in, left, right, up. Oh, they bring him down just short. Third and one. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, dropping dog meat for a loss. That'll hold him to a field goal. Skater! Puts it through, and the Goldens are on the board. Defenders looking good there defensively to bend but not break in the face of uh, the dog meat reverse. Oh, push it to the. Push it to the limits. Related, of course, to character limits. Oh, dude, you guys. You... See, that I, I like. <laughs> it's no secret that I love SGFL nepotism. So, <laughs> which sounds so bad, but it's fun, right? Having like characters that are that are related across different like leagues and and whatever. Also, Dennis, I I I I didn't realize until after stream the other day that you re redeemed Superb Owl for uh, SGBA because the fucking the redeems I they don't have their picture on Seven TV, so um they just they look the exact same basically, other than a couple of character differences. So, it was actually fine. I didn't mean to call you out for it. Um, Superb Owl had not been in the SG SGBA yet. <laughs> My bad. Ah, see, nice. That's good. 
Get them both filled up. Get them both filled up. <laughs> no, yeah, well... You know, no, just... Uh, what I, what should have been called out is my inability to fucking read. Is, is all. I make these goddamn redeems look exactly the goddamn same, and then I can't even keep track of which one's actually getting redeemed at a given time. Basket Weaver. Oh, that's a good one for for basketball. Golden's held to a punt. Defenders staying true to their name. Now, can they get something going on the ground offensively? Oh, Biff. Oh, Biff. No. Second quarter coming up. Second and 11 coming up for the defenders. From their own 42. Seven. 47. Say no to go. First down and more. 30 to the 27. Nice, nice, nice. Can't stop, won't stop, get guap. Oh! Last Spartan! Former boxer of the Stoop Boxing Association, uh, which will be returning in the uh, after SGBA. Um, although he won't be returning to it, of course. He retired, and we all wish him well. Um, looks to be doing well so far as a rookie linebacker for the Goldens. Picking up the sack there. Here goes OG Loke. Rookie running back, trying to cut it over to the left. He'll give an opportunity for 7U to put it through and maybe tie it up from the left hash. Up and... Oh! Oh, no! Damn! 7U off the right upright. Gave it just a little bit too much mustard. And they still trail 3 nothing. If anybody redeems more people from the Limits family, their name should be at the actual character limit. Ooh. Like, no matter what their first name is, it has to... Well, how many... L-I-M-I... T S. So basically, whatever their first name is, it has to be nine characters long. If it's if they're gonna be part of the limits family, otherwise they're not really a limits. Unless, well, I mean, what if their name was you know like like letter colon or letter colon letter colon? That implies an infinitely longer name that's beyond the, the limits. Kind of like H L Horseman. Or, uh, E.W. Jim. Pass it to me. Axieth Arion across midfield. Pass it to me. Oh, ball plart! Oh! 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 <laughs> Oh, he's right there, man. He's right there. Are you kidding me? Up the gut to Biff. Up the gut to Biff. No. They got it. Defenders take the lead. Goldens have been held in check. Goldens have been held in check throughout this one so far. Now, they do tend to like to slow burn teams from time to time and just pound them in the second half. Um, so we'll see. But so far, this is... Uh, this is an interesting one. Don't think I've heard Goris's name called too much today. There goes Dogmeat on the reverse again. They are in pursuit, missing. Oh, there it is. That's what they've been waiting for. Oh, he's gone. Oh, wow! A touchdown saving tackle on the one yard line that maintains the lead for the defenders as they head to the locker room for halftime. That was a huge tackle. That was huge. My God. Paid off the refs. Something tells me that he's not necessarily the uh, going to be the moral lightning rod of the team. Not exactly the paragon of virtue among his uh, his peers. 
<laughs> oh my god, OG Loke. 20. 10! Oh, he's gone! Touchdown defenders! Huge play to open the second half. And that'll give him a double-digit lead. What is going on? Golden's falling super flat. Man, that touchdown saving tackle before halftime is even bigger now as it allows them to take a two-score lead here in the second half. Falco Marconi. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, they fumbled it. And they pick it up. Vault Dweller. <laughs> he needs to be careful out there on those kick returns, man. Man bat. Oh. Oh. The decent little gain of five. Huge blitz. Gorus got nowhere to go. Loss of four. Blitz coming. They bring him down. Trevor Belmondo, relative of uh, Simon Belmondo, who once upon a time played for the Devils. Played defensive back, as a matter of fact. And uh, Android 17 is punting it away for the Goldens once again. Defenders will take the touchback. Set up shop on the 20. They're looking to take a three-score lead over the Goldens? That is not something many teams can uh, say that they've done. Uh, <laughs> Golden's going to see to trying and preventing the defenders from being able to say it. We'll see. Ball plart. Ooh, double coverage. Nearly not enough, but it's just enough. Just enough. Past my limits. That one took me a second. Past my limits. That's a good one. <laughs> limits family getting a lot of play all of a sudden. Character limits wasn't exactly like a great player or anything either. I don't know if character limits ever even actually made it onto the field. They might still be trolling around uh, as a backup somewhere. I'm not sure. They might be a lineman somewhere, and that's why I'm not really sure. Wow, what a catch by Buggo. Oh, man. Good God. Dweller. Dog me. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! That'll make it a warden. Oh, yeah, but... Yeah. That'll make it a one-score ball game. 14-10. <laughs> we are hammer-locked between these two. Under 30 seconds to go in the third. Whew, Kane. Whew, Kane gets it up to the 50. Good starting field. Oh, oh. That'll take us to the fourth and final quarter. Defenders nursing a narrow four-point lead. They are in Golden's territory, second and four. Coming up, here goes Fart Wind. He saw a gap right through the middle, and he took it to the 29. First down. Hand off to OG Loke. He's been doing really good. He's filling the role, uh, the shoes of John Elway Jr. tremendously as he takes this one inside the five down to the three first and goal defenders. He has been filling those shoes incredibly well. Chunklets! Moonwalking! Biff Chunklets pulls them ahead by two scores once again. That'll give him a little cushion here in the final quarter. The final act of what's been an interesting play. <laughs> Are the defenders going to pull off the big upset over the Goldens? Woo! This would be a pretty pretty gnarly upset to be to be honest with you. I don't think the defenders should be beating the the Goldens, but here we are. There is time left, although Dweezil Zappa just nailed that uh, that sack. Oh, and Goris getting dropped for a loss. Or perhaps only a gain of one? Couldn't tell. Buggo? Whew. Good coverage. Good coverage. 
Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> w, W, chicken dinner. The name's chicken dinner. W, W, chicken dinner. And uh, Golden's turn it over on downs. Sato will go with a leaping grab for a first down. Under three minutes to play here. Golden's defense needs to step up in a big way here. If they give up a score here, I think the game is probably over. Whoo, fart wind. Throwing it out of bounds. Oh. Yo. Slap back down in his face. Third down coming up. If they hold him to a field goal, they've still got hope. Oh. Oh. Here comes the field goal attempt. 7U has already missed one today. Can he pop this one through? To put him up by 14. Good. Right down the middle, 24-10. 14-point game. And we are underway. Dog meat. Got it. Wow, that's a touchdown. Okay. Do they try the onside? They probably should with this amount of time left, but will they? They will. Okay. All right. It. It. Oh, they have it. Goldens have it. Goldens have it. Oh my God. There's no more overtime in the regular season. Are they could they could they could bring it back for the tie, which would be nuts. It would be only the second tie ever. Granted, under the new rules, they should be more common, but we'll see. We'll see. Wolf with the sack, trying to maintain the dubski. Goldens. Trying to tie it up and remain uh, undefeated through the first two weeks. Goris. Not enough. He has been held in check today like he had <laughs> never has. This is it. Looking for Goris. Oh, incomplete. In and out of his hands. Turnover on downs with 32 seconds to go. Defenders need only run out the clock. OG Loke. First down run. 12 seconds to go, and this should be the final play of the game. This is quite the upset. Oh, Salami Sidewalk with the sack. And we will get one more play. Do the Goldens have a miracle in them? They have a blitz. They'll bring him down. No fumble, no nothing. Defenders get the win. How do you like that? Not bad, huh? Goldens getting upset. Well, they're not going undefeated this season either, I guess. Defenders saying, hey, whoa, don't overlook us. We can hang with the best on, uh, you know, their worst day, maybe. <laughs> interesting, interesting. I was not expecting this game to go that way. That was interesting. How did, uh... Let me get my save state. How did the prediction end up? SGFL D week. Oh. Week two. Any given Tuesday. That's right. Any given Tuesday. Damn, nobody believed. Nobody believed. Shame on y'all. Shame on y'all. <laughs> Okay, we've got two more games tonight. Uh, coming up, we have, I believe, Pats at Umbrella. This is another one I had my eye on. Patriots coming off of a very close loss to the Stars. Huh. Interesting. 
Similar story uh, to the Jets, as a matter of fact. Coming off a loss to the other Raccoon City team, they look to get back on track against this Raccoon City team. Patriots at Umbrella. Umbrella looking to looking to keep uh keep the roll going. Oh, it's so hot. I'm so sweaty. I'm so sweaty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, perfect sell. He'll be a fantastic addition. Thank you, Blue. <laughs> um shall we jump in? Dude, it's warm. It's warm. Oh, wait, let me get my dab pen. Huh. Big in. And then after this, we have our primetime matchup of the evening. Starman at crew. Should be an interesting should be an interesting one. You won't want to miss it. Mess sandwiches. Shout out to Fergie. Kicking off for the Pats, and we are underway here in Raccoon City for the second time today. Ooh, Steeny getting a little help. Putting a nice return on what was a really good kickoff. Could have been brought down inside his own 10, inside his own 5, somewhere around there, and uh, ended up getting some help and making a great return out of it. There's a nice catch by Chief Irons, and they've got a first down. Who's that throwing the ball? Sponge Rob, who was able to uh, get his first career win last week, leading them to a, uh, a game-winning drive against the Jets. Um, this week, they hope to not have to struggle so much and maybe still get the win. Looking for Rat Jam. Trying to force it in where two guys uh, are. Three guys are, I guess. Third and ten coming up. Oh, my God. He steps up into a tight little spot in the pocket and fires it into Chris Ting. And they've got a first down. Black to air out. Second year man. Out of, I want to say Spoon? Miles. Ban Miles with a first down on the reverse. Umbrella, uh, umbrella moving the ball pretty well. Woo, going back to Black Tire route for the touchdown. That was a nice, that was a nice little... That was a that was a pretty heads up little decision by Sponge Rob. He went uh, read one, read two, came all the way back across, which you know it takes a veteran to like have the confidence to set in the pocket and 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 and, and, and the quickness at the same time to 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 find that third read and go to them. And uh, it pays off incredibly well. And they play good special teams on the following kickoff. Patriots got to start at their own five. Nowhere to go. Blitz gets them back inside the five at the three and a half. They're in danger. Ooh, Ryden. Finds a hole. There he goes. Still going. 40. Cross midfield. They're still in pursuit. 40. Again. 30. Still going. 20. Finally brought down. Oh, my goodness. What a run. Rambling Jack Ryden. And Snake will go down to Richard Sweat. You can uh, figure that one out yourself. Imagine if he fumbled. We've seen it before. Yo, shout out to little Jacob. Pour one out for them. Silverberg. Getting it down inside the five. First and goal, Pats. Snake. Oh, wrapped up. My Corona man. Solid Snake is down! Solid Snake is down! Cryle Asgruel is stepping in, clicking up the old chin straps. 
and handing it off to Ryden for the touchdown. Oh my god. That is a huge injury, regardless. Okay, they were on the five, able to walk it in. Good. Sandwiches. Oh my god! Mess Sandwiches, the rookie out of Emo Fergie State, missing the extra point, and the Pats will remain down by one. Heading into the second quarter, that is a gigantic injury losing Solid Snake. They have got to hope that he bounces back after only a week. Definitely distracted by the injury, the rookie. Oh, there's a huge interception! Sniper Wolf! Who I believe came out of retirement to be here and is uh, making their presence felt when they are needed most. You see, uh, Solid Snake, bit of a, a personal friend of theirs. Taking that injury personally. And there's Naomi Hunter laying out for a first down. As rule. Putting a little too far out in front. As you can see, going to have to dial in. Oh, man. Jack Baker on the sack. Third and 21. Asgruel finds Hunter, who doesn't have quite enough. They will try a field goal to take the lead. Come on, meh. Come on, meh. Oh, wide to the right. Sandwich is having a bad day. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a long one, but still. Not good for the confidence overall today. Missed both kicks today so far. That's not good. Not good. Did you see the ferocity with which Dick Nipples just pursued SpongeBob for that sack? That was blazing speed. The likes of which we scarcely see. But when we do, we must just say, wow. Now hold him to a punt. Seven to six. Imagine if this is our final score. <laughs> that would be nuts. Wants it back in blood. Incomplete pass. I don't know where what the problem was with that one. Oh, Merrill not able to get through. Filling in, of course, for the injured Gray Fox. Oh, knocked away. That'll bring up fourth down. And they will punt it. A defensive battle thus far. Seven to six? Krusty Syntax. Wow, Krusty Syntax to return. That's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> they're fast. Krusty Syntax, who used to be a starting receiver, but... Uh, back in their rookie season, but, you know, the things changed and developments went a certain way and they ended up not being the best choice, but ho, oh, there's Chris Ting with a touchdown grab on the pass from Sponge Rob, and that'll put them up by a full score. Extra point will make it two scores. Eight point lead. Can they get it? Wesker. Looks good to me. It is. Umbrella getting it done. Making the eye proud. Oh, you know, the eye alum always, they always play some of the hardest. Some of the hardest for sure. Oh, kneel down. Oh, speaking of, speaking of. <laughs> I believe that's another, uh, that's another yoga. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, there's William the Eyeball Birkin. Classic Umbrella member making the sack as he has many times before. He holds the record for most sacks in a single season with 27. <laughs> yeah. He did that back in an eight game season, by the way. And. That'll take us to half. 14-6, Umbrella up by eight. So far, so good. I mean, defense is playing really well, and they're getting some breaks here and there offensively to allow them to have a lead. 
and uh, Patriot shooting themselves in the foot a little bit, missing the extra point and the long field goal. They do get the ball first to start the second half. We'll see if Pineapple Chunks can put a nice return on things to give them a spark. Mm, start from the 44 after a lackluster kickoff. That'll be enough. 43, okay. No solid snake, though. I think that's going to be their real undoing. Birkin able to get another sack there. Here goes Merrill. Got most of it. Third and five. They need they need the running backs to step up. If they had Gray Fox, like if you're missing uh, Solid Snake, you at least want to have both Raiden and Gray Fox in the backfield because I mean they're an incredible duo when they're together. You've got Raiden pulling most of the slack, and then Merrill trying to make up what she can. Um, and then of course Kryle as Grill, uh, just being awful. <laughs> just feel, being awful filling in for Solid Snake. Here goes Raiden. Has some lead blocks. Oh, he fumbles, but he goes out of bounds. And the forward progress will actually be a little a little extra. It'll put him a, another yard out. And then another toss to Raiden. He'll cut it back inside. He, oh, that's a fatal error. As he ends up getting caught up and being short. Now mess sandwiches. Trying to get a little bit of redemption here. Does... Hits it from way out. And now, you know, clearing the mind a little bit. They've settled. They've settled. They've settled down. They, you know, the, the, the coach went up and said, hey! Slap him around a little bit, you know. Get your head in the game. Get it together. Or I'm going to be bathing you in Gatorade. So they probably said. I don't know. I wasn't there. And now, you know. Able to make a kick. Oh, good defense. There you go. I think that was Sniper Wolf. There's no way to know. There's no way to know. But I'm gonna I'm gonna say it was. Blitz coming. Good stuff. Third and eleven. Can the Patriots pull if they can pull off a comeback with Solid Snake out? That would be huge. Whoa, that's a huge tip. That's a huge tip by the defense. Forcing the fourth down. Oh, my God. Heads up. Heads up play by the linebacker. Slapping that one down. And now Hal Emmerich to return. Will he get the chance? No, it's just a little bit too inside the uh, end zone, and that'll be a touchback. From the 20, they start as Gruel. As Gruel going down again. Birkin. Will he be? Bringing him down once again. Second and 21. They need a touchdown. Oh, my God, William Birkin with his fourth sack today. He's going off. Excuse me. From their own four. Oh, it's bad. Oh, Merrill. Mm. Fourth and 19. They're going to punt, and rightfully so. This is, I mean, oof. 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 Tifa Plus didn't really, uh... Eh, yeah. Could have gotten a little more behind that one, but... It'll do. Good coverage. Stops him back at the 41. Blitz coming. That'll wrap him up. Back at the 35, 6. Rob dropping back. He's got options. Got options. Takes a little while. Underneath the ting. Fumble! Patriots have it! Sniper Wolf! And we're going to the fourth quarter. Patriots got the ball in enemy territory, baby. Oh, you know what that means. They're coming. Toss to Merrill. Silverberg. First down run. There they go. We got a lot of ball game left, and it's a tight one, folks. But uh, once you get ready for what might be a photo finish. Asgruel, got to get rid of it. Oh! Third and nine. Your options are limited. You are down by five. You need the touchdown to take the lead. Do you even try if you'll go here? You don't need to worry about it because Hunter has it for the touchdown. Off of the slant post. Oh. Cryo ass girl. <laughs> On the post to Naomi Hunter. And they take the lead, 16 to 14. 
Four minutes to go in the game. Oh, man. Sponge Rob. Can he do it two weeks in a row? Hey, King Hoff. Eight yard gain on the QB scramble. Motion on the offensive side. Hand off to Black to air out. Stutter step. Gets him about six or seven. First down into Patriots territory just a bit. Hand off. Black to air out. Runs into a wall. Only a couple there. 313 on the clock. They trail by two. Blitz backs him up. They're not in Wesker range yet. Not really. You want to maybe get it inside the 40 to really have a good shot with Wesker, I think. There you go. And, uh, well, I mean, that's... That's what I said to... That's the bare minimum of what I said to do. So, oh... He's got it! 17-16! Albert Wesker gives Umbrella the lead with the glow-ahead field... Glow-ahead? The go-ahead field goal from way downtown! Whew, what a kick indeed. 57 yards! That is no chip shot folks it's uh it's far from a record in the sgfl but it is nothing to sneeze at albert wesker right down main street to mama mia under two minutes to go william birkin with his fifth sack of the day third and 17 coming up for the pats umbrella have they done just enough once again or do the Patriots have a trick up their sleeve? Oh! Fourth down coming up. Oh, and now it's time for a long kick of their own. Meg. Mess sandwiches already hit one, but he's missed one. Good! Off the upright and in! They, they go back to back. They go shot for shot. 1917 Patriots lead. Wow, 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 wow. That one, I think, just, uh, I, I, I forget. I think that was a bit, just a bit longer than, than the Wesker one. Here's Miles off the reverse. Nowhere to go. They need a big play. They need to get into field goal range, at the very least. They've got time for it. You need a big play. Rat Jam, Rat Jam, Rat Jam. Van Miles in the middle of the field. Leaping grab. He's got it. 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Umbrella. SpongeBob does it again. Okay, all right. You know, maybe I was wrong about this guy. He sat on the bench and really, really mulled over his game for uh, three seasons, three, all, three and a half, almost four full seasons. And, you know, he's, uh, he's a bit more composed now. Sponge Rob with the game-winning touchdown pass. After they each go shot for shot with what could have been game-winning field goals. Umbrella is 2-0. The Patriots are 0-2. They are stunned. And somehow SpongeBob has had game-winning drives in back-to-back -back weeks. He's a new man. He's a new man. He's, he's different. I think some of y'all weren't around back when SpongeBob first made his debut back in Season 2, but he was bad. He was so bad, they benched him and went with Annette Birkin for the rest of Annette Birkin's career. But he's different now. So it would seem. And he's winning tight games by four and now five points. Could have been closer. Could have been a loss. Hell of a game. Umbrella gets it done. Two weeks in a row. And uh, the Patriots join the Jets as teams that have lost to uh, Raccoon City teams two weeks in a row. Uh, <laughs> 19 to 24. Boop. And we have one more game tonight. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get my save state. You know, you know, you know. SGFL. E. 
dash week two. And settle up the prediction. Boop, boop, boom. All right. One more game tonight. One more epic battle. Foot battle. I mean, ball battle. But fuck. Anyway. Uh. One more game tonight, and then we wrap things up and say farewell until tomorrow when we greet each other again for Stoop Gang Basketball Association, which will be back tomorrow, uh, as well as the remainder of this week's SGFL games, that being Snowden Souls at Devils and Dungeon Dragons at Billy's. But first, we got prime time action coming up. Tonight. Tonight? Tonight. Starman at crew. Starman 1 and 0. Crew 0 and 1. Crew got the short end of some kind of raffle because they had to start their season playing the Goldens and the Starmen. Although we saw the Goldens get upset by the Defenders today. So perhaps it is the Starmen's turn to get upset by the crew. One thing I know I can say for sure. Smoke them if you got them. Let's get down to the field. Final game of the week, folks. Final game. Or no, sorry. Not final game of the week. Final game of the night. It's looking tight. Crew repping the all blues. Starman winning the toss. Trip. Holerbeth, of course, quarterbacking the Stars these days. Jackson Bjakon to kick off for the crew. Zali Tora to return, and we are underway. Primetime matchup, SGFL Tuesday. Jiplat with a huge gain down the right side. That'll uh, be a good start for the Starmen. Holder Beth. Second play. Oh! Fumble recovered by the crew. It's David Dowie! ba 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 David Dowie! Trip Holder Beth with a critical error that gives the crew a chance. And there goes Sleep Foo. <coughs> Oof, man, holy crap. Banana Man, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Blitz, uh, lucky they, they, they just were able to hold on to the ball there on that blitz. Here goes Banana Man again. Oh! Gain of six, third and 12. From your own 48. O team dropping back. Good protection. Looking for go, go, gamo! Making the catch in traffic. And they're on the 20. Whoa. Banana man left side. Oh, breaking the tackle. Only able to gain about a yard, though. Looking for Rita. Oh, intercepted. I don't know who it was, but it was not Rita Story. Uh-oh. Holder Beth. Under pressure and going down. Peanut Butter Cup at a Blue University. Shout out to Blue. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who Barely getting the pass off, and it's caught by Bolte Don Tits. Nice catch. That was nearly a safety. Mensa, Mensa, ma 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 Mensa with a first down run into crew territory just barely. Saturn, ooh! 
I thought he'd catch it. Mr. Saturn, I know, catch a ball like that. Granted, Ness used to be the one throwing it. But Tripp's throwing a bunch of them, I don't know. Stone Cold Johnson on the sack. Starman getting a little tripped up on the uh, offensive side. They're giving up a lot of uh, a lot of pressures. Here comes some more. Oh, he's able to get it off to Don Tits, who does make another very close catch, and they're going for it in the first quarter, final play of the first quarter. It's Mensa, who has it? Balls. Balls pays off. That is that is a very rare play for them to go for it in the first quarter in, a, in TSB. Very rare. They did, though, and it paid off. Here goes Mensa again. Down the right sideline, maybe gone, is... Touchdown, Starman, and there we go. After a scoreless first quarter, finally the Starmen are on the board first, as you may have expected. Oh, I see we've got action in this game. 4.5K on the crew. I'll bet that's a lot of yoga money. And, uh... 269. Ooh, looking for a little 69 magic, I see. Mm -hmm. On the Starman. I don't, I don't think you're going to need the 69 magic. I'm going to be honest. We'll see. Rita. Oh, there's Rita. Breaking a tackle. Still on their feet. Rita. Rita. Rita, who is, uh, I believe their first round pick. There's Rita again. First down. I could double check that, probably. Actually, I think I have the... Yeah, Rita was, was first round pick for the, uh, for the crew. Cesar was the first round pick for the the Guardians. I said that earlier. Just double checking the uh, the old draft board. I forgot I had it posted in the Discord not that long ago. Touchdown crew, is that Gamo? It's indeed Roy. Go, go, Gamo. Scoring the touchdown that may lead to a tying extra point. Let's see, Jackson Bjacken. Got it. 7-7 seven, seven ball game here. Uh, in Polis Station on the Polis planet, which I recently learned is a planet and not just a space station. Mensa. Oh, Mensa with a fumble. They have it. I don't know who recovered it. it happened too fast, but the Starmen are on it. Ho, 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 Lerbef. Dennis Parlov on the sack. I bet you didn't know that the original Dennis Parlov don't play for no goddang billies. He plays for the crew. Don't know if he's happy about it, but he does. Peanut butter cup on the sack, and that's going to force a fourth down. Hold the phone. Two minutes to go in the first half. Crew with a chance to take the lead before halftime. Cole Bitsron going to kick it through the back of the end zone like a numb nuts. We'll see what O-Team's got. I guess that kick had some good hang time. I'll give it that. Banana Man has the first to the 34. 105 on the clock as they come to the line once again. Oh, Rita. Got it. Leaping grab. Crosses midfield, crosses up a defender. First down with 41 seconds on the clock. Trying to get into field goal range at the very least. Oh, team, gonna dump it off to Banana Man. Banana Man. Goes down at the 19. They will likely clock it, yes. And bring out Jackson Bjacken for... A go-ahead field goal. Can he hit it? He can. 10-7 crew with the lead. And we are heading to halftime. Somehow the crew lead at halftime, 10-7. And the Starmen aren't missing anybody critical, are they? I don't think so. 
Very curious. Oh, and the crew get the ball first to start the second half. This could be huge. Are we going to have two upsets in the same week? I think that's happened before. I can't remember if it was season four or five. But I think Goldens and, and Starman both got upset in the same week. It was a big, big surprise. I think it was week two when it happened then, too. I think that was season four. That sounds right. Because it was back whenever Starman started, like, 0-4 and, and then went on to make the Super Bowl or some shit. Insane like that. Matriculating the ball is the crew. Second and, and uh, two coming up. Play action here. Looking for Rita. Oh, intercepted! Talarama! Jumped the fuck out of that one. Oh, man, that was... Uh, ugh. <laughs> that was that was a wayward pass by Nicotine. There's a first down run by Nutfog Mensa. Nowhere to go for Holder Beth. Trying a little um surprise QB sneak. Third and eight coming up. Can the crew hold them to a field goal? Oh, do they have the edge? They do. Ted Balloon. Got it right down the middle. I think it was Ted Balloon that I was trying to think of that made a, made a big kick in week one. I was surprised by. He hits it here and ties the game back up. 10-10. Adventures of 10-10. Oof. Crew going to have to start at their own 10. Well, 11. Close enough. Oteen throwing from his own one. Under pressure going down. G-spot. Second and 21 from their own half yard line. Oh, man. Oh, man. Gamo off the delayed handoff from back in the... Oh, man. I mean, whatever. It got them out of the danger zone, sort of. They didn't even get back to the original line of scrimmage. Blitz coming. They're not going nowhere. They're not going nowhere. Not share. No, wait, not not share. What? Come Q Bear. <laughs> I can't read. Wozniak returning a lackluster punt, and uh, this is the Starman's golden opportunity right here. I mean, on a silver platter. Oh, the blitz didn't get him. That's a first down. Really? Really? I, I think that was a first down, but whatever. What do I know? I've only got a perfect seat up in the booth. Jiplat and the lead. Jiplat Tittens. Giving the Starman the lead for the first time since the second quarter. First time since the first score. Is now with the most recent score that they take the lead again. And after this return, oh golly. Starting at their own nine to start the fourth quarter. Crew have their work cut out for them. Oh, man. That's not it. Oh, golly. They saw that coming a mile away. Oh, no. This is this has got safety written all over it. Oh, my God, Roy. Oh, my God, Roy. Roy. <laughs> Roy, what are you doing? Toss to Banana Man. He has blockers in front of him. Oh! They're going to punt. 408 to go. Down by 7. You need a good punt here. All right, that's that should be that should be fine. They need a they need a big play from their defense. They had one earlier off of the fumble. They've had a couple big fumbles go their way. They could sure use another one. Holler Beth with not much. Second down coming up. Under three and a half to play. Options open. Stepping up into a sack. Dennis Parlov with his second one today. Ready, 
third and long, and here comes the rush. Bringing them down, meme redeem. Fourth and 21, crew call a timeout with 256, and the Starmen will have to punt. They're gonna get a shot. Woo, he did not get a hold of that one. Did not get a hold of that one. Cole fucked it. Cole fucked it. He bits round it. Oh, Banana Man. Banana Man breaking tackles, breaking tackles. Go, Banana Man. Ba ba Banana Man all the way down to the six. Play action. Story. Oh my god, it's intercepted. Mr. Spoon with the interception, and that is going to preserve the lead for the Starman. Oh my god. Oteen with just... Oh my god, man. What the fuck? Come on, Nick. Oh, that was just... Oh my god. Just, I mean, or just dump it to Roy Gamo. He's right in front of you. You're throwing it across into the back of the end zone in double, triple coverage. Who knows? Just, I mean, it's just all you just you got a huge bailout from your defense, really stepping up, and you got a huge punt return from Banana Man. Just hand it off. Just hand it off. So close. Oh, big sack by Meme Redeem there. Third down with 51 seconds. Crew need a big play. Starman just need to hold on. Saturn has it. Gets up, advances it a bit more. I think that is going to do it for the Starman, baby. Mensa. Mensa. Mensa with another first down. And this may be the final play of the game. One more. Toss to Mensa. Brought down at the 10, maybe the 9. That'll do it. 17 to 10. A close one. Starman get the win. Oteen throws three interceptions. What? Jeez, man. I mean, including a, a game loser on, on, I mean, just like they're right there. They're right there. And then you can at least get the tie, which would be a, a huge win on, on its own. I don't know. Insane. Insane. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. My heart goes out to yoga. Yep, smoke the butt tonight. Mm. I mean, judging by those interceptions, he was smoking filterless out there. Good lord, he didn't care where it went. Yo, what up, Wolf? I see you. Thanks for the points to the to the challenge, dude. Thanks for popping in. Just under the wire. Congrats, Starman betters. Thank you all for betting. Let me get my save state SGFL. F dash week two. And plug in my score on my sheet. 17 to 10. Starmen get the win. Don't forget, folks, we have Souls at Devils and Dragons at Billy's tomorrow night after Stoop Gang Basketball Association. Going to be some good, good games tomorrow night as well. Going to be some good basketball games tomorrow as well. Make sure to tune in for those. Those will be at the normal start time, uh, 7 Central. Uh, can't wait. Um, golly gosh darn, I think. Does that do it? Are we good? I think that does it. I think that does it and we're good. Let's take a, let's take a brief. Let's take a brief glance at what we got coming up. Like I said, tomorrow, Souls at Devils, and then we finish off the week with Dragons at Billy's. Um, that is after SGBA tomorrow. Why don't I let you in on who's playing in the SGBA tomorrow? Hmm? Tomorrow, we'll have the Handsome 69ers at the Zanzibar Philosophers, the Dragon Ballers at the Vice City Crime, the Acania Goaltenders at the Pewter City Rocks, and the Mega City Robots at the Bayou Basketbirds. That'll be up first 
before SGFL Wednesday night games. Tune in for that. Should be a rip-roaring riot on the basketball court. Back to Battlefield Hardline. Grinding. Catch y'all next week. Woo! Adios, Yoga. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Sorry the crew couldn't get it done for you. The players need to do a press conference. Dude, Spuds, you have no idea how bad. I actually, in the early days of SGFL, I have played with like doing like faux news articles and stuff. So if that's something y'all would be interested in, I would, uh, I could put effort into stuff like that again every now and then. But like, I, 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 I've thought of like doing like fake interviews and stuff like that with SGFL players just to give it a bit more like, life-likeness and, and kind of depth and just make it a little bit more fun. I don't know. But yeah, if, that, if that's something that interests y'all, you know, let me know. Because um, I, I, I'm into that kind of stuff. But yeah. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. Yes, yes, yes. Another great night of SGFL. Thank you, Blue. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you guys all for hanging out. Thanks again for all the points into the community challenge. It's good stuff. Love that. That's going to be coming right along. We're getting We're getting pretty close to the uh, ooh, we're very close to 100K. Very close to 100K. Not terribly far off from halfway. Um, let me see. I got my save state for that. I plugged in my scores. I think we're good. Let me uh, I guess pull up Twitch and we'll pick out a pick out a little raid. Do a little do a little raid. Do a little raidle raidle do. Raidly do, hi, howdly ho, neighbor. We'll say to them, "Oh, won't we? Oh, won't we? Oh, won't you please uh, join me in raiding a friend of ours?" Da da da. Mmm. -hmm. Let's check out Cyber Trucker. He's playing Front Mission. That's a game that I want to play. But haven't. It's like uh It's like Fire Emblem with mechs. If that sounds cool. Come along. Check it out. Over on Cyber Trucker Alpha's channel. Pretty cool dude. Has a pretty cool stream. Uh make him put his glasses on or take them off or something. Um thank you guys again for hanging out. SGFL. Woo! Was sick. It was awesome. It was tight. It was tubular, it was radical, it was a lot of fun. And I thank you all very much for joining me for it. We will be back tomorrow to finish the week off, and as I said earlier, do uh, week two of the SGBA, the Stoop Gang Basketball Association. Uh, that'll be tomorrow, 7 Central, all the way uh, until like 10 or so. I don't know. Anyway, um, everybody, uh, be, be, be excellent to each other and even more excellent to yourself. And until next time, see you, Stoop Gang. All right, welcome back, folks. I am back. You're back in. We're back. We're on the stoop. Welcome back. Jeb, I have a stopwatch thing going for fumbles, but I am fucking stupid, and it's like two minutes and ten seconds off or some shit because I forgot to start it right at the start of the stream. Um, Maybe we won't need it. Maybe we won't need it. Let me fix my chat background. We'll slide on in to SGFL games. We got to go ahead and get going on these. There. Boop. Awesome. Welcome back. 
That is not helpful. Well, you, it, it, I, if I know that it's about two minutes off, then it's kind of helpful. I will try to remember to start it correctly next week. I, I, uh, I, I was a little, little scrambled right at the start whenever I, whenever I hit go live. And sure enough, I knew I was forgetting something, but ah well. Um, I'm sure that everyone will practice supreme ball security and we'll be fine. Uh, was there a portion where they started singing the solo song? Uh, oh man. Do we? Oh man. You mean, um... Oh, come on. YouTube, don't be a little piece of shit. Cloud City's always looking for new talent. You think you have what it takes? Yeah. 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 You mean this? Before we get into SGFL, let's uh, give it up to our halftime entertainment. say I am about half of those. Fucking poor hit the mic so bad. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. Have you never seen this, Chev? <laughs> this is the second time in like two weeks that I've played this on my stream. Because I hit unironically, kind of. <laughs> I'll say it. I kind of like the Han Solo song. It's catchy. It's fun. Don't judge me. It is terrible, though. I I am well aware. Going back to those guilty pleasures. You ever play this, Blue? Wait, so have you heard the song and just but didn't know about the game, Chev? You like it too, Axian? It's fucking catchy! What up, Wolf? I don't think I'm even like properly in frame or I'm doing this. Oh, well, a little bit, whatever. I got a tight cam. Oh, dude, Lando's Lando's got the moves. I had no idea it was for a game. Oh my God, Cheb. Yes, dude, it's for yeah, Star Wars Connect, which was it's okay. So it wasn't just this. But it was like, however many fucking, 
I guess an hour's worth. Here you go. Oh, please. Please be, please be Max Revo. I don't know this one. But it was like a, a bunch of mini games. Including like fighting with a lightsaber and connect and being a rancor and then dancing, just dance style. The, oh, oh, that made my tongue hurt. That's crazy. Ain't no hologram girl made my tongue hurt. All right, anyways, so Star Wars Connect, in case you forgot, it exists. Ain't no hologram girl. Oh, wait. Ain't no hologram girl. Ain't no hologram girl. <laughs> Ain't no hologram girl. Yo, what up, Soviet? How you doing, dude? You're just in time. We were, we were, I was, uh, letting everybody know, uh, who didn't, that, uh, Star Wars Connect existed again. Cause, you know, you can never, you can never let enough people know about Star Wars Connect. Um, and we've been just shooting the shit, but we're about to get into, uh, SGFL games for the Wednesday night. We have, why don't we take a look at what we have? I'll go ahead and fire up our first prediction, in fact. Uh, first up we have the Souls! At Devils. Souls, I think, 0-1. Devils, 1-0. Devils technically in second place in their conference right now. If they win, who knows? They might be able to get back into first. They're looking real good. We'll see. Uh, this is a, this is an interesting matchup. I'm, I'm curious to see how this one plays out. Um... To totally stream that game, I do not have a connect, and I do not want uh, to have one. <laughs> if there was a way to like emulate it to play it, I absolutely would. But I mean, that 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 I don't I doubt it. I don't think there's probably not. Um, Wolf, thanks again for dropping by. Good to see you, dude. Hope you're doing well this evening. Also came in during the uh. The Star Wars Connect business. I would like to stream it. I just, I don't know. I'm not going to get a Connect and that whole setup just to stream that one game. Maybe then I can be a Connect streamer a decade after the Connect is old. No, the X, the Xbox One had a Connect. Does does the new Xbox still have? Is Connect still a thing? Does it still come with Xbox? Or like, what's the what's the word on Connect? Is it dead? What's up? What's up with Connect? How is it? Is it? Here? What's it doing? It's dead? Okay. Good. Good. What's that? You want one? Maybe I can get you one. No. <laughs> Spuds, please, no. They stopped Connect after the first release, Xbox One. Oh, it's been dead for a while. Damn. Fuck the Kinect, yeah. It was a not good piece of hardware. It had lots of problems. <laughs> um, lots of problems. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, and not, not exclusively, just not having very good games. <laughs> I don't know why, but that reminds me that the Switch has a touchscreen for almost no reason. Does it? Really? Wow. You totally forget about that. Well, I mean, maybe I wouldn't if I actually had one, but... Eh? Yeah, right, like that on the actual, like, Switch itself. Not, obviously not, like, on the TV or whatever, but... Well, yeah, I mean, I guess you never... You never need to. It's nice to have that accessibility, though, for people that want it. I think that's what Nintendo's really, like, all about. Right? So... I don't know. Well, like, yeah, why would you, why would you want to, 
if the the Joy Cons work for like navigating menus and shit, and like all your control, like, do any games like have touch required controls on Switch? You can use it when you type or like in the main menu or the shop, and that's about it. Yeah, okay. Forget it's a touch screen. No games utilize the touch screen. And the Switch has been out for how long? Like six years? Five? Six? I mean they don't call it the Nintendo Touch. And now you now you now you see why. Yo, thank you, Wolf, for those points. Let's see, where's that at? Oh, 42%. 42%. Yo, Fergie, thank you for the points into the into the uh, community challenge. Thank you. <coughs> Shit. Give me a sec. I got dab in my nose. I got dab in my schnoz. Mwah. See, I, I kind of wish SGFL or TSB had, um, like... Inherent menu background music like the like the basketball game does. Sometimes it's nice though, because then whenever you're like editing shit in the ROM, it doesn't you know. I got annoying in the the basketball ROM. I had to mute the game whenever I would be editing shit. Um, so I imagine less annoying in that capacity, but um. To be fair, that would be a nightmare since it can't, since it can be docked to the TV. Oh, you know what? That's why, because then you would you would be really like limiting the like scenarios in which you can play it. But I mean, the Switch Lite's really popular. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Nintendo Touch Me, Lamal. Um, you kind of can't because. If you utilize the touch screen, yeah, I can't play docked, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think about that, yeah. Yeah, it's for those, like, specific scenarios where you're playing it in your hands and, like, act, like, want to just touch the menu icons. I don't know. I guess that is waste. Kind of. Huh, I wonder why they did that. Oh, does Slay the Spire use the, the touchscreen function? Well, there you go. That's a game. Okay. So maybe card games do? Here, let's go ahead and fire up our first game. Souls at Devils. We're underway. Or we're we're heading down to the field. They're about to they're gonna do the coin toss. Souls getting it. To start the game off. Here we go. Let's see, we got 6K on the hometown devils. 1.5K on the souls. We'll see how things play out. Dog Aressa going to return from the back of their own end zone. Oh, oh Fumbalaya. They've got it. Oh, Dreamer. Azriel. Ends up making a big play out of it. Whoa! All the way to the Devils 39. That was a broken play. That 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 went very differently than how it probably should have. Oh, incomplete. They are they are moving quick, man. You see the speed? You see the speed? Uh Dreamer. Touchdown! Is that Azriel again? Show enough. Touchdown, Souls. They take an early lead here over the Devils. They they, they they got their ducks in a row after that fiasco of an opening kick return. And uh, in a hurry, too. I mean, short field should be able to end points. Jay Eat, get it up to the 43. The Devils, 44. Devils are underway. Coop Jacks, hands off. Nope, Flea Flicker. Looking for a football man. Up, got him. Touchdown, Devils! 
one play later to the football man. Abunte Koopjacks looking good on that. Absolute dime to the deep post off of the flea flicker, and we've got a tie ball game here in the first quarter. Nice. Uh, let me see. I mean, that's not an actually mechanically unique way, because it's just like playing cards and stuff. I mean, yeah. But it is a game that uses it, I guess. But yeah, it's not definitely not like a unique way. I don't know. I don't know, man. Switch pretty cool, though. Football man had a finger in the air for every play that that drive took to score. <laughs> Putting it up. Telling you how many it took. And Devil's Defense getting it done here. Forcing the punt by Shiren. Oh. That is a good punt. Good coverage, too. They'll have to start at the eight and a half. Uh, Nose is near the nine. Handoff goes to Levitz, left side, gets a couple of blocks. It's about eight. Okay. Yeah, the Switch is still, like, the only console, the only modern console, even over, like, a PS5 and all of that shit, I would take a Switch, because I have a PC, and so I, you know, I don't give a shit about the other consoles. But Switch has certain, like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's neat. I can play it in bed. To that effect, I guess a Steam Deck would be cool, because then I could play my PC games in bed, but, meh. Here's another nice catch off the flea flicker by Football Man, who is uh, emerging as maybe a go-to for Abunte Koopjacks. Here they go again. Right back to him. Oh, he's dialed in. That is three flea flickers to Football Man, right? Three and two of them ending in touchdowns. Devil's now taking the lead to uh, end the first quarter, and we'll head to the second with the kickoff. Three for three on Flea Flickers. Oh yeah, that dude, Ubuntu. This is the 60% of the time. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day for the orange, or orange. For the purple and pink is what I meant to say. Yeah, Steam Deck is just PC Switch. How much is a Steam Deck? Are they like crazy expensive? Who's the orange? I don't know. I don't even know. I think I was going to say the orange and black, but I don't even know who that would be referring to. Papyrus on a breakaway. He'll get there. Eh, eh, eh. I think that's what Papyrus sounds like, right? Something like that. Depends on the memory, right? I think it's 400 the steam deck that's not terrible i mean for like a pc you can play in bed i guess if it's like decent i don't know i hear some people complain about it i hear some people say it's really good forgot the price i remember not digging the price considering the battery life with more demanding games oh i didn't think about that yeah That might be that might be not great then. There's a nice reverse by football man. Finding a way to dance to the markers. Here goes Dart, right side. Oh, first down and more. He's gone. Go, baby, go. You you the, Dart is one of those running backs. You can tell when he makes a certain turn, a certain cut with his heel. You can just tell he's about to turn on the Jets and be gone, baby gone. Just like the love that is gone. 21-14, Devils taking the lead once again. Yeah, that reverse by Football Man earlier to set to set up that uh, that scoring play was crazy. Didn't comment on it very much at the time, but I saw it. He was he was bobbing and weaving. Why not just have my PC set up on the bed? We'll see, because then I'll want to sit at my desk. 
That's the thing, is wherever the PC is, is where I won't want to be. That's the conundrum, Blue, you see, is I need to... So, so that See, that's why I need to find a way to be able to play my PC away from it. Because I'm just... I'm dying to get away from it. <laughs> that's why I need a Steam Deck. Uh... Who was that? I, oh, fuck, I missed you who caught the, the pass, but they laid out for it. Muffet putting up the... Tying extra point. 21 to 21. This is a ooh, good game on a Wednesday night. It was Azrael again. Ooh. Football man and Azrael going toe to toe. Frisk and Ubuntu going toe to toe. They're going back to the well. Underneath to Dart. Got it in stride to the 25. Wait, my god, 400 for 64 gigs, but 649 for 512 gigs? That's such a... Like, crazy... I don't know, jump. In the in the storage spaces. Alright, I'm not really digging the Steam Deck too much anymore. I'm having to think about it too much. Also, yeah, we're still in the 60% of the time that the flea flicker works every time. Does the 512 gig, gig one have a nicer screen, too? Mm. Solid state memory? I mean, that's good. And it's not going to have, like, a really, like, bulky operating system or anything like that. It's going to take up too much space. So it's going to mostly be, like, game saves. Well... No, but you're going to have to be able to install and save. Well, but are your save... No, your saves are in your Steam Cloud, I guess. So you don't really need to worry about that, necessarily. But, um... Oh! Oh, my God. It's... Okay, well, I've... Well, I guess it's a good thing that I fucking forgot to whatever the goddamn stopwatch because I then forgot to hit split whatever it doesn't matter so did both teams just fumble back and forth to each other and now we are punting to the devils okay oh my god I super lost track shit, shit hit the fan real fast there for a sec shit got, shit got wild for a moment oh my goodness Abunte be careful Devils fumbled the kickoff. Oh, Souls fumbled to themselves twice. Also, okay. Devils, okay, I see what happened. The Devils took the, the lead by three on the field goal and then fumbled the kickoff. And then the Souls fumbled to themselves twice. Okay. Fucking madness. Flea flicker. Football man deep. Got him at the 30 to the 20. One man in pursuit at the 10. Touchdown, Devils! I thought he was going to get caught at the one. Somehow made a miss down there at the goal line. And they extend their lead. Two double digits. Still in the 60%. Five for five on the flea flicker. I wish we had the numbers on the most flea flickers ever attempted. The most... The most... Pardon me. The most flea flickers, the uh, attempted where they were uh, all successful. So like five for five, or like seven for seven, or whatever. I I know they've done five for five before, but I'm not sure beyond that. It's been forever since I think we actually like we're keeping track. What do we? Really? Oh wow. But yeah, holy shit, though. Fucking Freddy Krueger yesterday. I forgot about that. Five receiving touchdowns. But I mean, that's that's a bit more like what that record, you know, maybe should be. That puts it in line with, like, the the the, uh, the rushing touchdown, single-game rushing touchdowns record. Um, 
I mean, there's still time for football, man. To... Ooh, Braddy gets to him, but everybody else was there, too. Second and 23, Abunte holding the ball just a little too long. You got to be careful. But there's still time. There's still time. Oh, going long for Levitz. Wow, leaping grab. He's gone. All right, well, that'll probably ruin football man's chances. Need, needed, the, needed to throw that one to football man. Casual 80-yard throw, just slinging it. I mean, like, at a full 45. Degree angle. That was a killer throw. How long was that throw? What yard line? <laughs> was it was it 80? What yard line were they on? Yeah, well, I mean, what was the line of scrimmage though? Like, how much will it go down as? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it was 88 overall. Still, though. Just an absolute rainbow bomb. Looking like Johnny Unitas. No, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. I was just curious what the actual, like, what it would, uh, like, statistically be counted as. But still, as far as, like, physical feats, we now know that Abunte can basically throw the length of the field. If he, if he... <laughs> If he has to. And uh, Devils... Looks like they were going to slip up and, 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 and lose track of this one at the start of the second half. But they got they got back on top and got a hold of things. And now they are well in the driver's seat. Frisk on the end around to himself. Yeah, right. He had to jump for it. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It would have gone even further. That's true. Forgot about that. Naps to Blook. There you go. Cut it back down to two scores. Yeah, right? Yeah, he put it where only the receiver was able to get to it, so it was a smart play, too. Oh, man. Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Oh. Oh. Devil's got it. Levitz gets on top of it. Good hands, good hands. Easy 90 plus air yards. Oh yeah, especially account like counting the arc too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There goes Levitz. Slicing through, look at those cuts. Look at those cuts, man. Look at that, I mean, just, I, oh. It's just, it's a joy to watch the man work. He's great. He's great. Did not do so hot earlier tonight uh, on the basketball team, but that's okay. That's okay. They're, they're working. Oh, 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 snap! Hold on! I have no bias. That's true. Look out. Here comes Frisk. Cut. Oh, wow, 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 wow! Look at him go! That's a good run. That's a good run. They need to not do run long runs like that, though. They they need to toss it. You got it. You got a shot here. There you go. There you go. Nap. No. Oh, nothing. But nothing. Naps to Blook would have been a good option there. He was he was open. Naps to Blook. Got it. Oh, man! With 30 seconds to play. Whoa, the block! Oh, my God. Now they need the touchdown. Oh, my God! Oh, and the Devils get the onside. It was close, though. It was close. Wow. 38-34. That's a new one, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit! The play is still alive! He's still going! Oh! Dragged down from behind, and that'll do it. 38-34. Devils will remain undefeated. Souls still looking for their first win, but man, what a game. 
Yeah, right. Very good game. Oh my gosh. Souls did a good job. Very, very good job making the devil sweat there at the end. Certainly kept us all interested all the way down to the wire. Um, football man, four catches, 207. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, three TDs, right? So, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Ubuntu, 77%. No interceptions, 330 yards. And, uh, what, four touchdowns at least? At least three. I think four. Depending on the exact percent of the 77, Ubuntu might have just had a perfect rating game. Ooh! MVP watch! Coop Jacks for MVP! Uh-oh! Throwing his hat in the ring! Putting his name on the ballot! Has to be on the, uh... The upper half, basically. Gotcha, gotcha. Also, Last Jedi. I see you, Ricky. Gotcha. I'm shocked that hasn't been redeemed before, but actually, that one hasn't. I know, all those flea flickers, man. They, I, y We're basically telling you what we're going to do. And you still can't stop it. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. That was a, that was a good game to watch. HL Horseman had a perfect rating also uh, this week. Nice. Dude, the ghosts fucking balled out on, on the undead. It was... I mean, well, that was I mean, that, that's the one where Freddie K <laughs> broke the record, so yeah. Really? You think Levitz really sells the flea flicker? Rigged. Thank you, Wolf. Wolf, you won! You, 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 you... Fucking jabroni? <laughs> right, okay, it's just he's so dangerous as a runner. You have to, like... You have to commit to him whenever he takes the ball, because they also have that toss to the left that's real. I get what you're saying, yeah. Here, let me get the save state before I forget. SGFL G dash week two. 38-34. Proof it's rigged! Because <laughs> Wolf won. 34, 38. Bada... Boom. But no, yeah. If when when Levitz takes the ball, you have to commit to him, which makes the I mean unless I so yeah, I would agree Flea Flicker will take a step back when he is gone, unless his replacement is, you know. But those well, are big shoes to fill, and they're hoping they don't have to fill them for a long time. Um Dart was actually their leading rusher on just two carries with fifty yards. They didn't run the ball very much, though, as you can see, although had great success overall on those seven touches. Ran for more on seven carries than the Souls did on 12. Um, interesting game. Interesting game. All right. One more. Dragons at Billy's. Could Devils get consecutive playoff appearances for the first time since season one slash two? Does anybody even remember the Claude era? Oh, snap. Age of Ubuntu. That's what the documentary is going to be called. Age of Ubuntu. Yeah. It's going to be cool. 
Um, I don't know, man. Devils currently undefeated after that one. That uh, that puts them in a good spot. I'll tell you what. I uh, I'll tell you what for free. It puts them in a good spot. Um, and uh, after a performance like that, I mean, you know, definitely throwing his hat in the uh, in the ring for the MVP race after a couple of weeks. Ubuntu has been looking good. His team's been playing well. They won what twenty eight ten opening day, and then they won a close one, held on tight, and uh, and stuck it out thirty eight thirty four two and zero. Oh. Next week they host the Renegons. That's a dubski for the Devils, dude. Ibunte versus Spatchcock. Give me Ibunte every time. I don't give a damn about Spatchcock's goofy numbers. He's a loser. He's a loser. And Ibunte Koopjax is a winner. And he's going to win me the stupor. I mean, he's going to win the Devils the Stuper Bowl. Yeah. Goddamn Axie on, Axie off. Could have just held on to the damn ball. Oh, it's Axith. Not Axieth. My bad, my bad. I know what you're talking about. I didn't feel good about that whenever I said it yesterday, but, you know. Um. All right. Are we ready to see how the Billies do this week? Any Billies chance in the chat? Dragons at Billy's down in the bayou. The Basket Birds got the dub over in the Basketball League. Now can the Billy's, so far, week one they were in tune. Both both basketball and football teams in the bayou won. Can they remain in tune? Let's see. Swooper going to return for the Dragons, and we are underway. They'll get it up to the 35 and we'll see Giant Crab and Slippery Sob come out onto the field as well as Rotting Carcass and others. Rotting Carcass, the one whose number is called, makes a cut and another. Gets it to the 41. Mm, we'll see where they spot it. Might be the 41 and a half. Yup, yup. Do I know it or do I know it? Crab dropping back. Good protection. He'll cut up through it. Just ran right into the linebacker. Was that a defensive back? I think it was a defensive back. Um, he ran right into him. Head first. Only needs a yard. Looking for a little more. Krusty Suckler can't hold on. Incomplete pass. Now Carcass. He'll get the first down. Get it inside the 30 to about the 28. We got 6K on the Dragons. Only two, what was that? Two four, two sixty nine on the on the Billies. Really? Let me see. Dragons last week they lost. In fact, they suffered only the third shutout ever, twelve nothing against the Guardians. So they uh, they're looking to just get on the board today if they could. They they'd like to start with that. Look over slippery sob, overthrowing him. And they'll look for Prime Slime to get them on the board. That looks good. And it is. First points of the season for the Dragons, and that gives them a 3-0 lead early in this football game. Now we have Damon. Hey! Shout out to Ricky. Damon. Returning the ball for the Billies. I believe he's also, uh, he's one of the two starting running backs. I believe he's RB2, which means he's in the backfield pretty consistently. He is out there, man. You see, there he is. He's got he's got a, a designed run play just for him. And if I recall, he was uh, quite the asset last week. There's ass titties, speaking of assets, getting it inside the 20. First down from the 17, Billies. Hand off to Damon. There goes R.C. Damon. You know where he's from. Ricky Cow represent. Tomo surveying. Lots of time. Starts to break down. Gonna throw. Gets it past the defense. Looking for Damon. Touchdown, Billies. Calling his name again and happy that he did it. <laughs> People aren't doing the 69 magic, right? 
Well, is that is that one person with 200 and another person with 69? How many people is that? You know. Yeah, that's two different people. That could be that could be 169 and a and something else. It could be two random numbers that just happen to end in a 69. That'd be pretty funny. Slippery Sob with a nice leaping grab. Getting away down the left sideline. He may be gone. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown! Dragons. Slippery Sob. There's a reason he's listed on the profile card as their top dog. He doesn't fuck around. He goes deep. He catches dingers. And he gets balls. That'll take us to the end of the first. 10-7 ball game. Dragons with a narrow lead. Billies with the ball. Ass titties going to slice through the tackles. Get it up to the 30. Only a couple yards there. Tomo with time. Looking for McMiss. Misty McMiss at a Soviet state. That's Retro Bear University. Tomo gets it off just in time. Damon with a leaping grab. Going to make some moves in the open field. Down to the 21. Nicely done. R Ricky Cow University is competition for the CCCCCCCCS. I think that was one too many Cs. What is... The Central Chip City Community College of Calculus, Computing, and Cal Science? Yeah. And their name's easier to say, which that's, you know... That's only a plus to some people. Um, I think there's, there's probably room for multiple... Agriculture-themed... Oh, no! Billy's... Missing this uh, field goal opportunity. Horse Dennis hanging their head low after that one. Unfortunate. There, yeah, there's room for multiple agriculture or cow things. Yeah, right? They, they, they're more, more general. Whereas, you know... Yeah, y y I feel like the, uh, the CC... 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 CCS... is a hyper-specialized uh, institution. So. Whereas the Cow University, that's, you know, more all-purpose. Cow-related stuff. Krusty Suckler getting them into field... No! 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 Getting them into, into first and goal, and then being helped off the field as he's hurt. And that means that Plum... We'll have to check in. Oh, man. There goes Slippery Sob on the reverse. Billy's trying to adjust to it. They get him. Oh, yeah. All right, it's not agriculture. It's just it's cow science. Right, my mistake. I assumed it was agriculture-related just because of having to do with cows, but, you know, I suppose that's only tangentially. Ooh, Plum! Denied and injured on the goal line. Are you kidding me? Slam jam, plum, slam jammed out of the game. Slam jammed into the ground. And Swooper will now check in at receiver, and they will be forced to kick the field goal. I do not, but that was an incredible stand by the Billies. Did you fucking see that? They force the field goal on the goal line, and they injure both guys at that position. First, uh,. Uh, my god, once they're off the field, <laughs> who remembers? Um, and then Slam Jam Plum, who was, who was put in to replace them. Incredible goal line stand by the Billies, and that keeps them within a single score. They're trying to take the lead before halftime. This game has not gotten off to the greatest start for them, but they, uh, you know, are looking to, to, to get things back under control and have another solid drive. Tomo stepping up, taking off. 
Looking for the first down marker. He finds it. And a little more. To the 48. 14 seconds on the clock. They will call a timeout. You got like one, maybe two plays, depending on what you're doing. You're going down. You got one more play. Baja Blaster. No. Oh, my God. The Billies are being just fucking mutilated. Oh, my God. No, 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 dude. Not Rony Tomo, man. Not Rony Tomo, man. Dorian's drink checks in for the first time. Holds the ball for a really long time. Gets the ball slapped down in his face, and we will head to the locker room. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They lose two receivers. And then their quarterback. The Billies have just been... Uh, I, the, the Billies have been taken out. It does not look good. They need to hope that at least one of those guys comes back next week. And they need to hope it's Rony Tomo. That's so bad. I, let's see what Dorian's drink has. He's been chilling on the on the bench for a while. Okay, Ass Titties definitely dropped that one. That was not a bad pass. At least, I mean, maybe it wasn't as catchable as it looked. I don't know. Drink. Finds Damon. The rookie running back keeps the drive alive at the 31. Oh, my goodness. Oh, pressure. Gets it off. McMiss. First down to the 48. Hold on, hold on. We got a we got an old dog coming off the bench, ready to be a gunslinger for the first time in his life. Look out. Hand off to Ass Titties. Cuts it left, back, right. Oh, pin space. 20 to the 10. Can they beat him? They do not! Stopped at the goal line. First and goal. Only a nose to go. Ooh. See, these are the situations where, like, you need a you need a, a precise quarterback. You don't have a lot of room. Well, or you can just do that. Ass titties right up the gut. Finishes it off. And that'll tie it up. Extra point will give the lead if Horse Dennis can make it. It's good. Billy's come out of the locker room. I guess they got a hold of that uh they got a hold of the backup and said, Hey man, we're in a bad spot. We need you to we need you to we need you to just, we need you to get in there and play like a veteran. And he's like, well, I guess I am a veteran. He's never been in a game before, though, although his first drive, his first full drive does go pretty well. Here goes Mountain Dew for the Dragons. Fumbling! Oh, but Flip Flop is there to bail him out and get the first down. Nicely done. Should have been a TD. Should have been a TD. Yeah, I know. I saw it. The spot. Al Cacino. Nice. What is that? Is that SGF? Yes. Nice. Oh, we've definitely hit the 200 tonight. We've we've gone over the 200 tonight. Thank you guys for all the excellent SGFL redeems. Um. Please feel free to continue redeeming. That is that is that is not to say stop. Um, but once again, we are only two weeks into the season and we're already ready for another draft, which is just awesome. It's worth noting that Drink is a competent backup. Nice. Well, that's good. There's Sob getting the lead for the Dragons once again off the reverse. Get it in there. Drink would have been a starter on a couple teams? Really? Umbrella. <laughs> Umbrella. Really? Whoa. Umbrella's 2-0 right now, dude. Undead is not. <laughs> All right. Fourth quarter coming up. Billy's starting on their own 10, down by 6. They've been in this situation before, but Tomo is usually the one captaining the ship. Right now it is Dorian's drink. Shelly Belly. On the receiving end of that needle thread. Ooh-wee, ooh-wee. To the 21. They're out of the danger zone with that. Oh, no! Fum 
fumble by ass titties. Who was that? I didn't catch the name. It was a big, long one. Whoever it was, they may have just sealed the deal for the dragons. Rotting Carcass gets it down to the six. Oh, man. I, dude, I, that was, I mean, that's about as jinxy as it's ever going to be. I'll, I'll take the L on that one. That was me. They're out of the danger zone. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I was there. I'm aware. Okay, well, uh, let's see if the Billies have some fourth quarter heroics to go with their antics. They got just under four minutes to play. And yeah, I'm wondering if SpongeBob can continue overperforming for the remainder of the season. I'd like to see it. It'd be fun. That'd be a hell of a storyline. We've definitely seen it before in other guys. Oh, intercepted. Pickle drum. That'll do it. Dragons just fucking took over all of a sudden. But I mean, in the span of two drives, they just, I mean, massacred the Billy's front, uh, front forces, their offense, quarterback, two receivers, a receive a starter, and then their backup. And then we're like, you know, fuck going for the guy catching the ball. Let's just kill the guy throwing the ball. And so they did. What happens if too many players get injured? Um, the backups can't get injured. Oh, yeah, there you go. Chubb's got it. Yeah, exactly. Just It just it just doesn't injure uh, anymore, yeah. That'd be fucking crazy if the game would, like, break itself. <laughs> but no, yeah. Well, okay, backups... Okay, correction. Backups can't get injured once there's nobody left to get injured or nobody left to replace them like like you said yeah you you explained it perfectly oh drink oh drink getting just swallowed up by beast man and everybody else this oh man i feel bad for the billies in this one Yes, that's also true. It, depending on how injuries work out, it can it can wonk up their uh, their their like alignment. Their their where where guys are are starting, and that can stay fucked up for a while until everybody gets healthy again. Um, like when the Billies didn't have last guy on the field for a while because Horning was in because the meh. But last guy's gone now, so don't worry about it. Um, I feel bad for them in the context of this game, just because, like, wow, it was competitive, and then they just, they got, they lost everybody. They lo Or, I mean, they lost three guys, like, in a quarter. Just insane. The, uh, I wonder what the odds are on that. That'll do it. Dragons. End up getting away with it pretty good. 30 to 14 down in the bayou. Roni Tomo was the Billy's leading passer, but he uh, exited in the second quarter. God bless. That that's a rough one for the Billies, for sure. Um, they are gonna hope and pray that Roni Tomo is okay by next week. Otherwise, their season is in uh, a good bit of jeopardy. Like, you definitely... He can't be gone for a terribly long time. Um, although, like you said, Dorian's drink is uh, competent, but, like, you don't... If he misses, like, three weeks, they could slide really badly. Yeah, they're one and one now. Right, they could, but that would... I mean, you'd rather not. You don't want to... Especially on the front end. I, I don't know. You don't you don't want to start in a hole. 
but it's looking like that's the direction they might be going. Let me get the save state. SGFL H week. Oh. H dash week two. That's true. I don't know. I'm just I'm just I'm just saying. They'd rather not have a two game slide or three game slide if they can help it. But can they help it? I don't know. They do have Undead next week. I think even Dorian's drink could probably handle that. Undead are really bad. So I think, like, even if nobody comes back for the Billies next week, they'll probably still have a good chance to win that. So, yeah, yeah, they're actually, they're probably fine. Just looking at, but they have the Ghosts after that. And, like, I want Roni Tomo versus HL Horseman. That'd be cool. But, yeah. Um, there you go. That is SGFL week two. We are two weeks in to a ten week regular season. Next week, let's take a let's take a let's take a look. Let's take a look at who we've got coming up next week. Um yeah, I got Next week. Yeah, I know, right? A great game and then just uh just one that was kinda hard to watch. So much bloodshed. But that's the way it goes. Um, oh, next week we've got Crew at Jets, both of whom are uh, 0-2. Jets did not expect to be. Crew didn't want to be, but a little, little bit more expected. Yeah, so much blood for the Blood God. Vicious, ferocious, unconscious. It was, it was bad. That was, I mean, I mean, shit. Dragons and Billies, who knows? Might be, might be, uh, might be, uh... Might be some heat there. Might be some heat there. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. They played last season, right? What happened last season when they played? Um, coming up next week, we've got Crew at Jets. That should be interesting. Goldens at Umbrella. That will be good. Umbrella is currently leading the Apocalypse Division because Goldens lost yesterday. In fact, Goldens are technically in fifth place in the gang football conference because uh, of the tiebreaker with the, the defenders. Defenders stealing that fourth place spot because they beat the Goldens. Um, as of right now, two weeks in. So, you know, take that as you will. But Goldens umbrella should be an interesting one for sure. That's a big test. Can, can SpongeBob keep on having these, you know, miraculous endings to games or can he play a full game um renegons devils guardian souls that should be interesting defenders patriots that should be interesting starmen stars that should be a good one right well I, you could still call it a test you could still call it a test that is true though last time they were imposters they they still beat the starmen once so we'll see i'm wondering though stars they look they look good they looked good yesterday against uh, what the Jets? Yeah, they. I mean, they they took care of business. So I don't know. They might they might be for real. They got a really strong offensive line, and they seem to be leaning into it. And their defense is playing fucking fierce. So I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe 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 it's finally their time to take a shot. We'll see. Uh, ghosts at dragons, and then Billy's at undead. Um, this is not necessarily the order of next week. I'm going to try to flip it back to gang football conference games for uh, Wednesday night. That's how I think I'm going to try to approach Wednesday night games, is I'm going to flip which conference every week is featured on Wednesday night. Because I think that I can do with some consistency. Um, without having to pull my hair out with the randomness of how the, the schedule generates in-game. Um, by being too particular. But, yeah... So, won't be this order, but we'll be these games. Um, shall we take a look at... Oh, here, one second. Ugh. 
Sorry. Had to grab my phone. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the stats. I'm gonna turn some some background music on while we while we close things out. All right. The goal for next week. You know, just for shits and giggles, did you try it, Cheb? Yeah, I figured. It's not working. The markers. <sighs> Next week, I will try to actually have a proper stopwatch going and keep... I don't know. I, I, The thought was there. And some say that that's what counts. However... Those people probably aren't trying to keep track of fumbles. So. Anyway, let's take a look at how our passing leaders are looking. Let's take a look at completion percentage. We've got Headless Horseman leading the way with a 75% frisk behind him. Coop Jex, uh, well behind those two, as they're up in the 70th percentile, although he's alone in the 60th. Um, and then kind of everybody else. Uh, number of completions, 15 and 15, Horseman and Cock. Yards... 477 for Horseman. Cock with 472. Coop uh, Jex with 447. And then kind of everybody else, at least for right now. Horseman Cock. <laughs> Touchdown passes. Headless Horseman with nine through just two weeks. Well, I mean, you got five at least this week. So, I, Did they have six or did was there was one of their uh, touchdowns a rush? I can't remember. I think it was six. Um... So, you know, balled out this week. Uh, Frisk with seven. Spongebob with five. Coop checks with five. Holer Beth with, uh, Holer Beth with four. And kind of everybody else. Okay. If there's any stats you would like to see in particular, let me know while we're uh, going through them. And I'll pop them on for you. We can check them out. Um, Kruger now leading the league in receiving, uh, uh, receptions, I should say, with 10. He's got seven touchdowns as well. He's going to be leading the league with that as well. Seven passing TDs in two games and zero wins. Oh, yeah, for, uh, for Frisk, yeah. That's, uh, that's gnarly. And they've got, what, Guardians next week? That's going to be tough. Man, Void is a... I, man, as far as expansion divisions go, that's a good-ass division. As far as I'm concerned. Kruger's got the most receiving yards by a good bit. 335 and then Football Man with 261. It's not, not really close right now. Yards per reception. Lycan, 51 and a half. Tassoni, 50.3. Levitz, 50. Etc., etc. Touchdowns. Kruger with seven. Dreamer with four. Man with four. Bellic and Titans with three. Etc., etc. Down the line. Rushing. HL Horseman is on pace for 45 TDs. What is the fucking. What is the current record? Like twenty eight. Now, granted, that'll probably that pace will probably fall off, similar to like how Spatchcock did, but that's that's pretty cool. Um, OG Loke, leading rusher. Goris is back at fourth. Twelve attempts, so he's you know. Got three touches. Still doing good on average. But OG Loked. Rookie running back for the defenders. Leading in uh, terms of rushing yards. Then Oswald. Then Nutfog Mensa. Then Goris. Then Poop. Then Levitz. Interesting. Yards per attempt. OG Loke with 20. Goris is in fifth on that. Touchdowns. Goris is in first. Tied for first on that. There you go. Only gave him... Yeah, I didn't I didn't call his name very much. And when, when I did, though, he was not uh, doing a whole lot, if I recall. He might have had, like, a big play. 
They tried the reverse like five times in a row at one point. I don't think I was paying very close attention to the to the Goldens game. I can't remember what we were talking about. Oh, that might have been the game that I was... <laughs> that might have been the game I was talking shit about Brad. <laughs> Oops. That would explain it. All right. Um, well, there you have it. I mean, yeah, you give you give Gorus the ball more, he'll uh he'll take care of Biz. He's still the best. Kruger leading the way in terms of scores with seven. Let me see my kickers. Willis ten for ten on extra points, one of two. Pragita seven of seven, two for two. Slime three for three, three for three. Skeeter six for six, two for two. Eh. Eh. Haven't been a ton of field goal attempts yet. Not yet. Nine rush yards and two blitzes. Goris? I seem proud of that. Wait, wait, proud of what? Hang on. I lost track. I was looking at stats. What happened? Also just wouldn't throw to dog meat either. Oh. <laughs> no, I just, I, I, I almost stopped myself because I was like, oh, I shouldn't bring that up again. But anyway, no, it was gloss over, gloss over. Um, Papa Emeritus, Baja Blaster, and William Birkin all tied. Top of the sack charts. Lord, Sniper Wolf, and Head. <laughs> uh, all with two interceptions. They got a, a lot of time to get a few more. Lord Wolf Head. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. It was like nine yards and getting blitzed twice. Yeah, so... But literally, you hand him the ball one more time. And it could be like a 70-yard breakaway for a touchdown, and that would make up for most of his stats. So... The answer is never to stop giving Goris the ball, I don't think. As 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 odd or sad as that may be, he kind of he's kind of broken. When they actually use him. The... Golden's kind of do that, do that to themselves. Let's take a look at who the top offenses are. Ooh, Devils have the number one offense, total offense in the league. Interesting. And the worst is the Jets. What about passing? Best passing offense is the Ghosts. Worst is the Dragons. Okay. Best rushing offense, Devils. Worst, Jets. Sad. Um, take a look at the defense. Let's see. Best defense. Wow, the Stars are playing best total defense. And right behind them is Umbrella. Raccoon City is about to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe in the playoffs this season. I swear to God. And it's going to be so fucking cool. Look at those mini helmets. Look at them. A labor of love. Look at those things. Look how good. Look how good they look. Excellent. Excellent job, Chip. <laughs> um, Souls with the worst defense. That's unexpected because they're supposed to have a, a pretty a pretty good defense. Um, best pass defense is Goldens. Worst is Souls. Okay. Best rush defense, Stars. Worst, Crew. Oh, like, for sure. I mean, for, for, I mean, for the obvious reason that they're just so much smaller. There's so much less to work with. But also, they, like, share pallets and shit, right? Um, so you gotta get creative on which colors, uh, 
are on what? Yep, yep, yep. They share tiles too? What? It's gotta just be like the face mask tile, right? Or maybe like the bottom? How many tiles make it up? I would imagine like four. Another great sports night in the Stoop Stadium. The Stoopium, if you will. That kind of sounds like Stoop Copium. Or Stoop Opium. But that would be Stopium. Anyway. Um, yeah! Hell yeah. Thank you, Blue. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out for uh, SGBA Week 2 as well as uh, SGFL Week 2 Wednesday night games. It was a good time. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I had a good time. And uh, as I stated earlier, these are our games for next week. Crew at Jets, Goldens at Umbrella, Renegons at Devils, Guardians at Souls, Defenders at Patriots, Starman at Stars, and then Wednesday, well, no, and then uh, Ghosts at Dragons, Billies at Undead. As far as the order, you'll have to wait until next week to see, because I haven't decided yet. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me pull up Twitch. We'll start keeping an eye out for a little raid ski. A little raidy do. Um, each helmet is four tiles, but some have special overlay underlay tiles also. Hmm. That sounds interesting. I'd probably just have to see what you meant. But, like, yeah. No, all that, I mean. Doing the the um the stuff for the basketball rom made me appreciate everything that you've done for uh for the SGFL rom like a lot more and like understand it better a little bit um so that's been really cool Oh, oh, I know what you... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the... Okay, yeah. Like the... Like certain helmet effects. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Okay. Interesting. And was that just, like, was that just a condition of, like, whatever helmet it was replacing already that you just had to kind of work, work with? Uh, oh. Wait, here, I want to see it now. Interesting. The... Huh. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So you see, I don't I don't know how to do any of that. That's like next level. But that's pretty cool. So you were able to just take the the color and and lay it behind the star's helmet and the helmet itself is actually hollow. Huh? The Billy's log. The little... what is it just the, the log or is it the bird also? <sighs> it's 
It's pretty interesting what all, like, goes into... I don't know, I think. What all goes into these NES games to begin with, and then what all you can do with them. I, I, I love it. Just the log, interesting. Oh, I see, I see, I see. That's how it's able, oh. That's how it's able to have, huh. Their helmet might also be an underlay also. <laughs> is it is it is it hard to 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 remember what all is is what because so many things are so many different things. Yeah, yeah, I I I feel that. I feel that already. The soul's heart. Yeah. It's just, is that not? No, it isn't. It's a different, it is a different shade of red than the, than the crew helmet. Huh. I thought it was just the same as the crew helmet, but no, it's different. Oh, uh, where do we want to go? Ooh. Go hit up CFB. I think this is his first time being on since uh, the over a month long stream. Let's go check him out. Alrighty, folks. That is going to do it for this evening. That was SGFL. Thank you for tuning in, hanging out, rooting on your favorite teams, and keeping the league alive and fun and interesting and, and stuff. Um, we will be back next week. Um, I'll probably try to stream something again between now and then. But if not, uh, you know, bear with me. I'll see you Tuesday. Um, but most likely I'll try to do something like Friday or Saturday or something. Some kind of game. We'll, we'll hang out and play some stuff. But, you know, it's just been, it's just been crazy lately. So we'll see. Um... But uh, storylines are forming. Uh, teams are winning and losing. Some teams are not going the way that they were expecting to go or hoping to go. Some teams are performing much better than they may be expected. So it's a very interesting time as, as we are starting to kind of uh, transition out of the early season and into the mid-season next week with week three. It's going to... Uh, start to vaguely sort of maybe begin to uh, give way to some sort of image. But well, that'll be next week. And until then, see you, Stu King. <laughs>